All right, welcome everybody to first episode of our Ultimate Admirals Dreadnought live stream. Josh, see you're in the chat already. So, well, again, this one kicked off a few minutes early. It didn't have, I didn't send an arbitrary time for the start of this episode as I just finished shooting the second episode for the main campaign series and this is still a new game to me and I'm having a lot of fun. I just felt like I'd keep on going. So anybody who wants to join in, join in. So I didn't come into the stream with a plan, to be honest with you. This was uh just felt like doing it. So I'm thinking we go with the Chinese Empire. For the stream because they're not OP in the least bit or oh good the storm stop <laughs> I need to see pictures of you with ice cubes in your beard <laughs> how we doing Josh it's time to see an old ground pounder can become an old sea dog <laughs> Grumpy Grandpa tries UA Dreadnoughts based. Yep. So, uh, first episode from the uh, the mainstream campaign has uh, been up since Wednesday, and episode two is going up tomorrow. And uh, for any of you guys who don't like the British Navy, it'll be a good episode for you. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking Chinese Empire because it should prove a bit more of a challenge. Leave the difficulty on normal. Random. Create our own fleet. And let's turn off shared designs. Negative seven. Hell no. You know, as soon as the uh, temperatures start matching my age, I don't like to go outside no more. Let's get this kicked off. Right that campaign. So that was one of my test campaigns. It always takes a minute for the world to load in, so I uh, hope you guys don't mind the uh, loading screens too much. So this usually takes about three to four minutes. Not as long as the original uh, Whiskey and Lemons DLC questionnaire, though. <laughs> Pour myself some coffee. Yeah, YouTube notifications has always been a bit of an odd thing, especially lately. I like, especially me. I've been getting a lot of, uh, and YouTube changed something, so I've been getting a lot of stuff. That's uh, things that I don't watch are coming up on my notifications. Uh, in between battles, it's going to be coffee, but I do have a bottle of the new Fighting Sixty Ninth Whiskey Single Malt. Uh, these, as far as I know, these are never going to be for sale in store. You can only get these directly from the armory, as far as I know, because they're very limited edition. So I bought two bottles, one to drink and uh, one to put on the shelf. Six degrees, negative seven with the wind chill. Yeah, hell no, still no. Not bad where you are, but for Desert Rat, it's a bit chilly. <laughs> yeah, what is it? It's just under 50 degrees here in New York City. It's way too warm for this time of year. It's kind of odd. It's making everybody sick. It gets warm, it gets chilly, it gets warm, it gets chilly. Everybody, It's making everybody in the area sick. Mother Nature needs to stick with one temperature and go with it. Pop this bottle open right now and get a taste of it. Ooh, that was a tight cork. Hmm. 
Mmm, that smells nice. Mmm, that is a good flavor. I like that. Never had a single malt Irish whiskey before, but I'm liking that. Yeah, Jeremy, I only smoke in the one room of my house, and it's just basically because it's my computer room slash study, and the window's right next to me. It's going to be 12 degrees by 6 a.m. and then 6 for the low. Hell, hell no. Oh, it tastes excellent. But, uh, that's a tight, tight cork. I could barely have, I had a hard time pulling that thing out. <laughs> Negative 35 by Sunday due to 40 miles. Yeah, we had those high winds the other day when that storm came rolling through. How's that work in the crane and uh, lifting up those uh, containers? So I don't work in the tall, tall cranes. I work in the mid-sized cranes. But like when the wind catches the flat of those containers, it pulls them like a sail. Look at this taking longer to load than usual. Probably because of the streaming software. This is a very memory intensive game. You know, I poured this just to for battles, but hmm, this is good. Got the 28 the other night going home from the gym. That's not so bad. Yeah, I wish I, I wish we can get some snow here in New York. You know, my husky's begging for some. We basically had a snow drought for the last three years. Thought we were going to get hammered last year, but we didn't. So this year's not looking like we're going to get hit too hard either. The last time we had a snow drought like this, we got nailed by a massive, massive storm afterwards. Oh, yeah, you got nothing to break the wind out there. And uh, me, I work on the water, so my, the winds I deal with are usually 10 miles per hour faster than uh, anywhere else. All right, finally on the campaign map. We're playing as China, so we don't have any colonies. How many ports have we got? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'm actually going to be running the small boat strategy that I have for my U.S. campaign to start this one off because I don't think our economy is that good. So we've got 13 ports. I want 10 torpedo boats per port. So we're going to design a torpedo boat here. Drop in 10 per port. How big can I make these? 275 is my max. Yep. Let's give them 30 knots. I think that might be a little fast. No range. We don't need it. And I don't have any of that stuff yet. Tower one. Each gun. A couple of twos to back it up. One small funnel. Couple of torpedo tubes. It just sixty-eight percent rolls a hundred percent. How am I overweight? I didn't change my design up from how I've done it previously. I probably gotta drop the speed down to twenty-nine. There we go. I get the range up two sixty-eight. 70. That's a little too much. All right. Oh, I didn't want to change the speed. I wanted to change the range. Drop this to... It's not going to need to do an arbitrary on that. 268 to 275. I don't have any of this stuff yet. I'll be fine. Uh... 
Uh, I've talked about my job before. I'm a longshoreman, so I load and unload the container ships in New York Harbor. Fun job. Get to drive around the crane all day. I pick up the box and I put down the box. That's about it. <laughs> so we had 13 ports, so I'm going to try and build 130 of these things. Do an initial run of 100. Let's go to finances, transport capacity all the way up. Start building a new shipyard. What does our budget look like? Let's get this up to 55 if we can. So let's show plus four. I'm not worried about crew training, but I need technology. Uh, the snow is heading our way, but it is heading up towards, uh, it's going to be upstate New York. It's not going to hit the coastal areas too much. Plus two million. Okay, that should be fine. Still making a monthly balance of plus 17, so I got more money to throw into. Uh, oh, wait, we gotta build another 30 torpedo boats. Ah, you know what? I forgot to uh, set where these were all going. All right, that's fine. I still got plenty of money left. What's up with that? What does that bring me to? That's negative 508,000. But we should clear that once those torpedo boats built will be fine with that politics king economy in the era was suboptimal they neglected the navy a lot and the army officers were their own bosses as it was demonstrating a warlord period so the economy was suboptimal yeah it was i, I will say that so we rename mikhail's navy to grump pa's navy <laughs> Yeah, I think that's more of on the uh, the U.S. campaign. We coming up on war with anybody? Let's see who we can poke. Not Japanese hate us, so yeah, we'll go poke the Japanese. Poke. Of course, we're gonna get off. Problem is, they don't have any colonies. We don't have any colonies, so it's basically just like beating down their navy and gaining some prestige out of it. It's what it comes down to. So we need war with the Europeans. And one. I am worried about having a war with the French because I have a feeling the Chinese army would not be able to hold off the French in any type of land war. Grumpy's Coastal Guard. I like that. <laughs> oh, you know what? I also forgot to give a name to the class of boats. Oh, well. Make sure I name the next class. Oh, we're still making money. That's good. Romania signed a trade agreement. Netherlands and Germany. All right, negative five with Empire Japan. Good. I think we got to wait another turn before we can poke them again. Uh, no, we are right now, from the looks of it. Yeah, we have control of Hong Kong. So, when did, when did the British historically get control of Hong Kong? It wasn't until almost 1900, wasn't it? The grunts of Ganding. <laughs> All right, let's poke them again. Now we're gaining two million a month. That's good. So our economy's earning money. Did I start building the shipyards? I did. Okay. And Japan ignored me. Yeah, probably because I got a fleet of torpedo boats. <laughs> Majority in Parliament calls for immediate action against the United States. What is your reaction? Completely agree. Give me. I'm already at 21 unrest. 
me 51 million. Don't really need the money right now. Go for plus 1% naval budget, negative 10 naval prestige. We only have seven. I think we go, uh, if it is never said to provoke the United States into attacking us so that public opinion is on our side. So plus one naval prestige, minus three unrest, minus three relations with the U.S. I'm going to live with that. Sound of Russia. All right. Nobody's signing any contracts with us. I think it's around this time period. Uh, you know what? I did not. I, I went with a non-historical AI on the game, so that might be what changed it. That's, that's probably what it was. I did change the AI. And I had to build a new map off of that. I spoke to Japanese again. I'm just worried about a war with France. I don't think I could win one. Not yet, anyway. Relations with the Empire of Japan went down by 12. Good, that means we should be in a war in a turn or two. Yep, negative 92. We are close to going to war with them. But like I said, there's nothing, we're not going to be able to invade them. We don't have the tonnage for that. And... I don't think we could win an invasion. Yeah, how much is Hong Kong worth? Right now it's worth 183 million a turn, 183.5 a turn. So that's that's definitely helping our economy out. Nice if we can get the Germans kicked out of a uh, Sin Tao. And, oh, I thought the Russians had a port there. They got a fleet right there. Maybe we should have, you know what? We should have picked a war with the Germans. Once we're done fighting the Japanese, we'll pick a war with the Germans. See if we can't get them kicked out of port of Sin Tao. Spoke to Japanese again. Serious incident occurred, which involves Empire of Japan. Yep, starting a war. There we go. Yeah, I honestly, uh, my even in my test campaigns, I feel like the Germans are kind of a side note in the game. That the Austrians are more prevalent and they have fewer ports. We're now earning. 32 million a month. Nice. This was four transport ships, but we got plenty. Japanese fleets are still up here. Give it another turn and see where they go. I will send my mosquito boats out hunting if they come near my coastline, but not before. There's one here. Two battleships, four heavy cruisers, and six lights, and they're heading to the coast of eastern China. There we go. That's a lot. What we got here? Two battleships, four heavy cruisers. Five lights and a number of torpedo boats. You get the name of ship, the Sea Guard of Sigmar sounds cool. <laughs> Let's jump into this one. This game has some weird loading sounds while it's building up the uh, ship divisions.
Alright, nine torpedo boats against two battleships, four heavy cruisers, five light cruisers, and 13 torpedo boats. This should be interesting. There's our number one battle line, so I'm going to drop you to F, drop you to slow. We'll come in with the three separate flights. We'll make one torpedo run with each one and then get us the hell out. This just made the sound effects a little loud. Just my headphones too loud. Let me know if that sounds too loud for you guys. I think it might just be my headphones turned up a little too loud. Oh, there they are. It's a rough sea, so we're only moving at 26 knots. It's not going to help us. already I want to at least dunk their battleships but I probably won't be able to there's one right there already taken hits. Alright, let's just break you off. Maybe you can get a launch at somebody on your way out the door, but I'm doubtful. Oh, you're playing at the home theater system. <laughs> I'm jealous. All right, you have a good one, Sigmar. Don't let the uh, meds give you uh, bad dreams. I always get the bad dreams with meds. You know, you can't name fleets or squadrons, which I find kind of annoying. It'd be nice if you could. Pass by the stern of the uh, Aki here. See if we can't warp her out. You finally take down. Oh crap! Whew. They almost got me. Got a nice pass coming on the Aki right here. Hopefully, we can get in. Those torps off. Fire, damn it. I don't want them hitting her in the stern. Need a broadside hit. Alright, let's uh, detach the Y39. For a retreat order. 23, where are you? One hit, one was a dud. Was sink one of their torpedo boats. Nice. Oh, I started turning the torps off. Okay. So retreat. Next division. Who's moving at fuller speed? You are.
Oh, and the battleship's going down. Nice. Where's the other one? She's out this way. Oh, there she is. The good thing is my torpedo boats are fully are retreating through their formation, so they're firing in every direction and hitting their own ships, which <laughs> does more damage than I could. Uh, you can change the name of ships, but you can't change the name of, like, the fleets or anything like that, which I wish you could. This way I can keep names on my strike fleets. All right, let's see if we can put the old Wari under. Fleet. Hmm. Uh, any particular reason behind it? Uh, the not being on the name of the fleets, I'm not sure. Why are you not moving that far? Come on. Get your speed up. We got damn ship in the line, don't we? She broke out of the line. Okay, that's fine. Get our speed back up now. We're taking all water, which is going to slow us down. All right, pass by the stern. All right. Detach you. Let's see if we can't get a stern hit on her. The other one. She's taking an engine hit, so you just start retreating. Corpse in the water. Start retreating. Final flight. Where are you? I hit her. I'm doubtful. Yeah, it was completely missed. I wasn't controlling the torpedo launch on that one. Yeah, some of these ships, these things are very... These, If you've seen historical photos of torpedo boats, they are extremely small. They're, they're, they're basically submarines. Uh, you can name ships, I, I believe, from the uh, fleet screen. I gotta double check that. You can name a ship class, that's definite. Naming the ships themselves, I gotta take a look. I think even if we lose all of our torpedo boats, taking down one of their battleships is worth it, and a few of their other ships have gone down also because of the crossfire. No, you don't. I'm not worried about you. You? Nope. I don't want to hit him, though. This guy's a f coming in to block me. This is getting in the way. Oh, crap. I didn't have my torpedoes turned off. All right, get out. Get out of there. Next torpedo boat should be called a little grunt pot. <laughs> I didn't sink my own torpedo boat. Did I? get in on this battleship. Why 
Fire your guns at this torpedo boat for now until we get closer. And last two coming in. Come on, boys, you can get in there. Let's go. Wait, I thought I turned the torpedoes off. He just fired. Damn it. Damn it. I gotta turn them off again. Alright, 30, get the hell out. 96, last one. Turn them. I thought I turned those damn torpedoes off. She's almost fully underwater. <laughs> I would not want to serve on one of these things. Oh. You know what? I'm going to launch at this light cruiser. She's broadside to us. We might just hit her. Be a dud, please. Do not be a dud. Wari's gonna get away, but I can live with that and get her another day. It blew up right before. Oh, there we go. I thought it blew up before it hit the ship. There we go. Let's take it on water, quick. Please tell me she's going to go under. These things have like no torpedo protection. Too early for that. Yeah, uh, she's listing. She's listing. By Nagara. Everybody's retreating, so we'll just speed this along. I don't think the 96 is going to make it out. <laughs> yeah, she's done for. Let's go up to X5. Run away! Run away, my little ones. <laughs> That was fun. I like I like riding the little boats in. You can get a lot you can get into the middle of their formation and they get that crossfire going where they're hitting each other. You get a lot more damage out of these boats than how you normally would. Grandpa's charge at the little boats. <laughs> Now because this is navy, would it be squid paw instead of grunt paw? Probably. I don't know if they have a, a joke name for old sailors, besides being salty. You would throw back to a famous ship and get a ship class called the Tortoise or Turtle Ship. Heavily armored with all HE shells and just burn the enemy apart. Honestly, sometimes that's what you gotta do in this game, to be honest with you. Because uh, I'd seen some of these ships survive heads that should have ripped them to pieces. Alright, we lost seven torpedo boats, they lost eight ships. We gained 14,582 victory points to their 3,200 and a half. So we took down the Aki, one of the light cruises, Nagara, 
And the rest was all torpedo boats. But that's fine. The torpedo boats run block for the larger ships, so getting rid of the torpedo boats does help us out. But I lost seven torpedo boats, so I gotta build replacements for those. No, we are not signing a piece just yet. We're not going to get enough money out of it. Right, we lost seven, but we're going to build 17 of these. So I think I may need to go up to the... Uh, I didn't want to go up to 200 on the torpedo boats, but I think I might have to. Quit pause charge, yep. <laughs> Ooh, and a lone light cruiser against all these torpedo boats. Then again, a light cruiser, they can do a lot of damage to torpedo boats. If they got if they got a lot of casemate guns, I may have an issue getting up on her. everybody in a one line let's go find her southwest so let's head southwest What's worse, when you're hunting down one ship, up, oh, we're down to X5, so we're close. Game automatically drops speed once you're closer to each other. Where are you? She spotted us. We haven't seen her. Oh, there she is. Oh. Turn around. We're going right past her. <laughs> uh, yes, they did. Or at least in the game, they do. I'm not much of a naval historian. I mean, she catches up to the Y-62, they can launch torpedoes in the rear at her. Turn everybody off. Want to make sure these torps hit. Come left, new course, 053. How we doing, Grim? down. Let's see if we can't put this girl under the sea.
Just missed those torpedoes. Come on, it's Striker. Striker. Nice. Both of them hit. Slowing down, basically dead in the water. She lost. Oh, I thought she lost an engine. She did not. Launch your torpedoes, damn it. Not launching. Ooh, Y sixty two is about sunk. No, we can fire the torpedoes at flank speed. I don't know why she didn't launch. It happens sometimes. Because there was no incident of friendly fire on that one. Okay, there we go. 29, let's break you off. Seventy just launched. Those look like they're gonna fly good. 75, let's turn yours off. Save you for the last. Yeah, I had a lot of bad torpedo launches there. Wasn't paying attention. Done. Damn it. Let them. How you pronounce it? Nitaka? We can get broadside of her. She's taking on water, so we can bypass her. Get full broadside on her and launch. She might be listing enough where... No, she's got her list under control. This is a dangerous way for this torpedo boat to be right now. Get your speed back up. Oh, there she goes. Oof. <laughs> Didn't need that last set of torpedoes, thankfully. So we only lost to one torpedo boat in that attack, thankfully. So we got 1,400 victory points there for 70. Not bad at all. That was not bad at all. I would have been happier if we hadn't lost a single torpedo boat, but can't complain too much when you only lose one torpedo boat for a loss taking down a light cruiser. That's a good trade-off. To the depths with the... <laughs> Thank you.
I need some of these minor nations <clears throat> to, uh, excuse me, I had to clear my throat there. I need some of these minor nations to sign treaties with us so I can sell all their ships to them. I can have 4,500 ton heavy cruisers, and we're not going to be building those anytime soon. Arr, Davy Jones locker with the lot of you. <laughs> Too bad we haven't had a fight like uh, the first episode of my U.S. campaign uh, turning New York Harbor into Iron Bottom Sound. Now, what does my unrest look like? It's at 7.3, so we'll take the money. 113 million, I will take that money. We're earning 29 million a month. Oh, here's a strike force, two heavies, three lights, and five torpedo boats. Let's see if they come close to one of our harbors. You'd think it'd be the R, but his first love be... <laughs> God, the damn dad jokes already. <laughs> uh. Doesn't look like he wants to come close to any of my harbors again. Oh, got a convoy fight. No, we're not taking a peace treaty just yet. Need the score higher. We're not going to get anything out of that score. What's the unrest? Okay, let's take that money. Admiral Grumpy 1890. <laughs> oh, another light cruiser. The Kinu. Let's go take her down. I gotta say, I love these loading screens the game has. I just kind of wish they had more of them. Let's have some inf interesting information on a lot of these ships and ships classes. Let's put everybody into one battle line. Southeast, so we're basically heading right for them. Say drop our speed down till we uh, get caught up, but there she is. Why it's going in on her own? One thing I don't like with the Chinese is they don't give their ships. Or at least the torpedo boats don't get specific names, it's all just numbers. Then again, they are torpedo boats, so it really doesn't matter. We're gonna pass a broadside of her, perfect. Don't change course, lady. Do not change course. Put your torps out. There we go. Catch. Ours are gonna strike. She got one off. Thirty 
That's who's coming in next. Ooh, took out her engine and she's taking on plenty of water. Oh, she stopped the... F oh, no, she didn't stop the flooding. She's going down. I don't think we have to put more torpedoes into her, but we should just... That, that flood is spreading. I don't think we have to put anything else into her, but... We might as well. Just to be sure. Nope, there she goes. Oh, I know exactly who you're talking about, crap. Uh, shit. Actually, over here onto the old Google machine real fast. Oh, that load screen is on. Chinese Pirate Queen. Zeng Yi Sao, if I pronounced it correctly. Also known as Xi Zhonggu, Shek Yun, and Ching Shi. She had a lot of names. One lightly damaged torpedo boat for a sunk light cruiser. They got three and a half victory points out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Those torpedo boats are built already? How long does it take me to build these things? I didn't even look at that. These are commissioning. Auto add crew. Forgot about that. I want to add 10 more of those. Okay, they take six months. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to remember it's a month per turn in this game. And you're like, oh, ships are done already. Don't a lot of conniving women have multiple names? <laughs> Three points are scratching the paint on my little boat. Yeah, it's honestly, it's probably a man who probably fell overboard when the ship went underwater because of the damn roll on the things. No, that's part of that's part of their evasion. That one hundred percent roll as after they launch their torpedoes, they do a complete circle in the water. If anything's coming their way, it should bounce off the top while it's rolling. <laughs> Small funnels, all right. So, uh, just like my main campaign, we're not going to do a refit until 1895. Shouldn't take us too long to get there. No, we are not signing a peace treaty. I mean, we should at this point, honestly. How much do they have left of their fleet? They don't, they don't start with a large fleet. They have 28 ships left. Three battleships, nine heavies, nine lights, and seven torpedo boats, and they're not building any. Which means they don't have a lot of money. Ooh, we got a port strike. All right, they're coming back in again. Empire of Japan is accusing our country of war crimes. Prime Minister is asking your opinion on how we react. Military forces of Empire of Japan themselves violate human rights and conduct war in prohibited ways. That's pretty true. Plus two naval prestige, plus three relations with Empire of Japan, minus 29 million. Or victims among civilians are inevitable, which would be minus two naval prestige and one unrest. 
We have 14 unrest. We could take the unrest hit and prestige. We could take the prestige hit. We basically start with nothing anyway. Here we go. I got one, two, three. 11 torpedo boats against two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and five torpedo boats. Let's jump into this one. See how much more of their tonnage we can put away. So you can tell by this loading screen right here, my U.S. campaign is ahistorical because the, the Dahlgren and the Craven were the 9th and 10th torpedo boats for the Navy that were done in 1900. 1900, I have 200 of the goddamn things. <laughs> and their displacement is more than 148 tons. Oh, Lord. Well, I think the speed's about the same. Why are you... Flying on your own. Go join that one. Green screen, that's fine. Drop you guys to full. Drop you to half. Alright, let's go find these ships. Hopefully we can at least take down the heavy cruisers. Dead ahead. There we go, baby. Going right at each other. All right, we're turning the port, so we'll stay on their starboard side. You know what, Grimwolf? I should name one of my ships Gilligan's Island. <laughs> Alright, Y70. We're going to launch at the Maya. Give me a launch. Give me a launch, damn it. There we go. Get out of there. Let's see if we can sail in between the two heavies and get them to shoot at each other. Peter's flying good. Oh, beautiful hit. Put two more into her. Launch, damn it. Ah. Okay, she just launched. Good. Three. 22 and 54. We're going to come in on the Casa. Those torps miss? Wasn't looking. Uh, they either missed or they were duds, but that's fine. We got more torpedo boats. PT boat in Mikhail's Navy. I'm not too sure. I have to look it up after the fight. Oh, those things miss completely. Come on. Oh, no, no. They're going to hit. Let's see if we can't finish off the Maya. Oh, they missed completely. Damn it. Ah, 
I'm gonna name one the Gilligan's Island, then one the uh, Minnow. We got we gotta name one the Gilligan's Island. Boys up the flank. Let's bring in the next flight. Your largest ship should always be named the Minnow. <laughs> you going down it looks like yep there she goes finally let's get the casa and they're bringing in torpedo boats to block me now got to worry about them launching on me don't really have good avoidance Side of the heavy, see if those lights won't fire across her and hit her for us. Crap. Oh, almost avoided her. I right, was in leave now. Alright, that's fine. Flank. Oh, shit. That's not good. I gotta slow it around. I gotta slow the game down somewhat. I'm trying to micromanage. You know what? We're gonna launch up the Yakuma there. I have a Kuma. Oh no, she's going down. They're damaging themselves. Yeah, these guys should both have good launch patterns. There we go. Boom, baby. 92. I don't think we need to put these torps into her. Nope, we do not. Y29, let's break you off. Get you out of there. 92. There's the other light. Let's go get her. I think she's the last one. Yep. Torps. Crap. Alright. I gotta worry about this torpedo boat coming on me. That's alright. I got more torpedo boats. I got another flight. Oh, they lost one. Bring it on in, boys. Torps completely missed her, didn't they? Yep. That's fine. She's got to reload her torps now, and mine are coming in on a last run.
Uh, time to refill the whiskey. We'll wait till after the fight's done. All right, let's turn you off so you don't launch a torpedo boat. All right, we should be coming out on the stern of the uh, Yoshima. Don't turn away from us. She's turning away. Yes, she is. Let's get broadside if we can. Come on, boys. I know you can get in there and sink her. Actually, you know what? Let's pause this right. Nah, that's not going to be a good screenshot. It's too smoky. And she launched against us too, so mutually short destruction. Damn, yeah, nice. And she's sinking. Can we get this torpedo boat? Someone call the Wellerman, we need rum. <laughs> need rum and tobacco. Yeah, you know what? I should pick up some rum for the live stream on this series instead of whiskey. Nice dark rum would go good with this. I could probably outgun this torpedo boat, but I don't want to get into a gunfight with another small boat. It would take forever. I'm actually surprised this one hasn't even taken any damage yet. Yeah, let's drop down to full speed, see if we can't hit her. Actually, slower than us. Turning away. Do you have torpedoes? No, she does not. That's even better. Stop turning away from me. Look me in the eyes, bitch. Come on. I think we launched those too soon. Up, oh, up. Oh. One of them was a dud and one only hit for 399 points. Are you kidding me? But that should put her to the bottom. These things have no flood control. Yeah, there she goes. That's another Japanese fleet sent to the bottom. <laughs> Down Periscope, great movie. I'm, I'm amazed at how many people have never heard that movie because I've used that. I've used that line. Streamlabs, I turned that stuff off. What the? Streamlabs is really pissing me off. So we lost five torpedo boats to nine of theirs. We're gaining 12,710 victory points to their 2250. We took down two heavy cruisers, the Maya and the Casa, two light cruisers, the Yoshima, the Abukama, and five torpedo boats. I mean, I'll take those losses.
I turned all that stuff off on Streamlabs because I don't care what you guys say on my on my streams. I mean, this stuff is not made for children, so I don't care what you guys say. So that stuff should be all turned off. But Streamlabs doesn't like my settings, apparently. That's one of the best parts of that entire movie, Jeremy. All right, so we gotta build five more torpedo boats. I still have this strike force with two battleships, five heavies. We need to get at them. We need them to come at one of our ports. I think I need to start poking at the British because we can go to war with them and not worry about a land invasion. Streamlines has a love-hate relationship with Jeremy. Yeah, it does actually. <laughs> Honestly, Jeremy, all the all the actors in that movie were actually all well-known actors. Every single one of them. There was not a... I don't think there was a single B-list actor in that movie. I mean, some B-listers, but they had a lot of good movies under their belts. Wait, 30,216. We need to start poking at the British, because they have a lot in the area. Let's increase tensions with the British... And I think we can... No, we're not going to peace out with the Japanese yet. Honestly, I think one of the best parts of that movie is when they light up the uh, submarine like it's a fishing trawler and everybody gets on deck and acts like they're drunk. It sounds like something I would do. <laughs> And seven with the British, good. Yep, can't poke them again until next turn. All right. Streamlabs is your abusive ex. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Act I, I actually want to watch the movie now too, thinking about it. I think I'll do that tomorrow before uh, tomorrow's stream. Oop, January of 1892, so we can start building our port again. Add another 5,000 tons onto our build capacity. And that still leaves a plus 29 million a month. That's good. Building up our nice war chest right here. No, we're not signing out of peace yet until we go to war with England. Time for a refill. I would be Howard. Boats are done. This will put us at 150. So I need another 50 of these things. So we're just going to pump out 50 of these, get us up to 200. I don't need that many of them, but why not? We have the money. Uh, which one was Howard? That wasn't the captain, was it? I 
They must have ignored us last time our tension didn't increase at all. <laughs> the chief. <laughs> okay, that was another good scene from the movie. Hey, boys, I need to show you something. He puts the string up between the holes, and as they go deeper, the string gets uh, saggier and saggier. <laughs> Nobody's staring at it. That was another good scene. Negative 12. Oh, we really pissed them off. I must have just walked into a tea party and flipped over a couple of teacups on their admirals. <laughs> People of Algeria take up arms, try to gain control of southern Algeria, okay. Battle of Mozambique, Portugal loses 50 men, Mozambique loses 1,166. Battle of southern Algeria, ungoverned territory loses 108 soldiers, Algeria loses 43. So I guess Algeria is invading ungoverned territory. Ever seen the one with the pink sub? I have no idea what that is. All right, let's go poke the British again. I didn't say anything about the Queen. I said we uh, flipped over some teacups on the Admirals. <laughs> if I said something about the Queen, we would have immediately gone to war. Of a negative eight, all right. It was only negative eight that time, so I must have only stolen some of their crumpets. Operation Petticoat. I'm gonna have to look that up here in a second. Look it up right now. Operation Petticoat, 1959. During World War II, a commander finds himself stuck with a decrepit and pink <laughs> submarine. <laughs> a con man, executive officer, and a group of army nurses. You know what? I think I might have seen this one. It was a long time ago, though. I probably watched it with my father a very long time ago. Yeah, I have seen this. It's just been such a long time. Oh, I'm going to have to watch this. It's just been so long since I've seen that movie. I got to watch that now. Now, oh, Russia likes us. Yeah, let's poke the British again. That strike group is still sitting there, not coming anywhere close to us. We now have 200 torpedo boats in our uh, little mosquito fleet here. Not exactly a little mosquito. Oh! <laughs> you know what I was saying? They're not coming anywhere near us. And uh, yeah, I got five torpedo boats only. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't think this fight's going to last too long. They got two battleships. 
five heavy cruisers, five light cruisers, only two torpedo boats, so I might be able to make a run against one of their battleships. Yeah. I mean, we have to fight. I could auto-resolve this, and, but we're going to try and make a run against one of those two battleships. We got to. Well, they picked the one port with the least amount of torpedo boats in it. Go figure. I only got 13 ports, 200 torpedo boats, and I only got five torpedo boats in this port? You gotta be kidding me. Damn computer, screw me over on that one. Five torpedo boats against two battleships, five heavy cruisers, four lights, and two torpedo boats. You gotta try and get in on at least one of these battleships. Probably one of them right there in the lead, too. Yeah, I think it is. Right in the, right in the friggin' lead. Oh, give me, give me, give me. Come here, big girl. I got something long and hard for you. I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying that with you two. That or somebody's going to report me if they actually watch the stream afterwards. Let's go right down between the two. Aggressive launch. Oh, damn, just took a nice hit there. I mean, good launch. Her broadside of her. Launch, damn it. There we go. Get out of there. 551, you're next. Boom, baby. Nope. Aim at the old Wari. This torps in the water. No. Alright. Aim at her. off. Yes, you did. As long as we get one of the two, I'm happy. If we can get both, I'd be happier. I think the Aurora might be going down. Oh, flash fire. Look at that. There we go. There's a screenshot. That's beautiful.
gotta tune the old Rari. Oh, this was a beautiful run. Yeah, down she goes. 11, 9, 6. Alright, let's make a run on this light cruiser. That was a beautiful screenshot. I think that might be my new screensaver. Oh, there's a heavy cruiser. I got the light. I forgot about the heavies. I think they're firing at this one. I think they're firing at 212, sort of hitting the 170. Yeah, we're dead in the water. Or it's turning too tight. I think it's turning too tight. Alright. One side two. Detach you. And the 212 is sitting on top of us, so we can't do anything. Where are you? There we go. The damn 212 doomed that run. Two twelve damned that run. Oh, I'm gonna see if we, if we can take this heavy cruiser down also. Oh, but I think these the 212 and the 172 are going to be in the way. Go all the way over. Turn that off for right now. Close, but we might get it in there. Give me a launch. And then we just lost our rudder, but we got the torps out. Boom, baby. Almost 6,000 points of damage. Yeah, I should put the Knuckle Gear Redunker. I had to speed this long. I got all my boats retreating now. I think we might have lost. Yeah, this is the only one that hasn't sunk. And there goes our Knuckle Gear. Nice. And we're about to lose the 193. Three hits. <laughs> hey, Cup, how we doing this evening? Oh, that was. <laughs> I knew we were going to lose all five torpedo boats, but that was fucking lovely. Five torpedo boats for two battleships and a heavy cruiser. I think we managed to take down one of the other torpedo They probably lost this one to friendly fire, but, uh... Oh! <laughs> that was fun. Hope you guys had as much fun watching that one as I had playing it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was 125 sailors to so their almost 2,000. Five torpedo boats to so their four ships, but it's two battleships, a heavy cruiser, and a torpedo boat. We got 26,542 victory points to so their 2,099. I mean, we did lose this battle because we lost all of our ships, but that is a Pyrrhic victory for the Japanese. <laughs> Let's catch up on the chat while this is uh going through the load screen. And one under remember under what was that there? Scroll back up.
Under Siege, yes, that was a good movie. We don't see your channel tomorrow, we know why. <laughs> you weren't being derogatory. Was, yeah, but there's somebody's gonna see there's someone who's gonna hear that and you know, lodge a complaint. You know, there's always these one that one woke asshole out there. Someone's someone's always gotta be offended, whether it's directed at them or not, they're still gonna take offense to it. Your old MS-1 was a young MSN aboard Missouri when she was last decommissioned. Nice. Just to say that you got the chance to serve on her was a big deal. Hard to starve her full right rudder away to torpedoes. Oh, I didn't realize you were doing the stream. I would have dropped in. I would have held off of mine and dropped in on you. I didn't see... uh. Anything come up on my feed? So I am subscribed to you. They got to fish out their admiral. <laughs> yeah, this is a fun game, A Cups. It's been out for a few years. It came out, I think, in 21. But there were a lot of issues with it. It's, but it's a... The uh, original dev studio, which actually does the Ultimate General series... uh. Gave this up to another studio and they ran it into the dirt and they, they picked it back up and they took it back away from them in the past year and done a lot of fixing to the game. So it's a much, much more playable state now. Uh, Stealth 17's got good stuff. Uh, Brother Monroe. There's a few good uh, Ultimate Admiral uh, YouTubers out there. I just decided to start playing it for a change of pace and uh, it's just much more playable than it used to be. All right, we got built five replacement torpedo boats. I, I love, I mean, these things cost 1.2 million a pop to make, but compare, I mean, compared to the price of a battleship. <laughs> yeah, it was like, but I don't really like, I'm sub that. that we were talking about this earlier uh, with some of the other guys in the chat that I'm sub to a lot of channels, but a lot of stuff is not coming across my feed, which is kind of pissing me off. Like I said, if I'd known you were streaming, I would have held off on this stream. I don't like, uh, I try not to cross streams with other YouTubers that I talk with. Grand Tag, it's a lot to learn. Like, I, I know it because I've been playing it since literally the day it came out. I've been playing that game, so years now. All right, so... Gotta poke the British again. Can't get lost in conversation, I'll get distracted. <laughs> We're at negative 27 with the British now. We gotta get to war with them. I don't want to go to war with the French because they're right on my border and I don't think our army can hold them. If we go to war with the British, we could probably take up northern Borneo there. I'd love to grab Borneo from the British. We're not going to get anything out of the Japanese because this is all home islands. I can't take any of that away from them during peace negotiations. I can only get money. I need to launch a naval invasion against them and that's going to be Two or three streams from now until the fleet's built up. Uh, I think Brother Monroe's actually finished the mod. So I'm not going to be modding this game until I get tired of the vanilla. So I think I'm going to run a mainstream campaign with each of the nations, a set piece campaign, before I do any type of modding. <clears throat> Admiral Grumpy, you sunk my battleships. Emperor, 1892. 
Yeah, but I always try to feature other other guys have seen this. So like I try to talk with all the other YouTubers. I you know I try not to uh, overstep with other YouTubers that I'm friendly with. It's just it's just me, you know, because we might we might share viewers, and I don't want to you know be stealing viewers from each other. Is there a new update coming out for Grand Tech? Not that I'm tracking because they haven't been announcing them lately. They've just been doing them without announcing them. It's been kind of annoying. Honestly, A Cup, you have to do the main campaign before you jump into Whiskey and Lemons. Whiskey and Lemons will totally throw you off from the main campaign if you don't have the basics down. I I'm being dead serious. You have to learn the main campaign before you even touch that DLC. It seems like it's easier, but it's really not. Masses of dissatisfied pacifists and clock roads. What do you propose to do? Oh, yeah, you're blocking my roads? I live in New York City. Those assholes are blocking the Brooklyn Bridge the other day. Massive police force. Crush them. Then again, it's New York City. All you have to do is get all those pissed off drivers out of their cars and hand them baseball bats. Won't have to pay them. They'll do it for free. <laughs> Actually signed with Russia. None of the minor nations have signed on with us so far, which is kind of pissing me off. We need some minor nations joining us. This way I can at least sell, instead of scrapping my old boats, I can mothball them and sell them, but. Great Scott's another good YouTuber, though I can. The way he presents his videos, I like watching him, but I can only take so much of him at a time. Uh, one of the reasons I started the channel, believe it or not, and I didn't discover Great Scots until after I started my channel was because I watched VTH and a few other YouTubers that did this game, but they weren't putting out content anymore. And actually, I think that's why uh, Brambaro, Worms and Warriors, and myself all kind of popped up at the same time. I think we all had the same feeling was... We love this game, we love this content, but nobody's making it. So all three of us kind of appeared on the scene within a month or two of each other, I think. I still have not played any of the historical battle. I did one historical battle in the game, but I haven't actually done any of them. I got our transports can't do anything about that because there's nobody in that port. Yeah, and great. He only popped up in your feeds after you subbed to me, and he's been around a while. He's he's been around a few years now. And his channel really was it it, it, it seems like his channel started growing more after I popped up. Uh after me and Worms popped up. I think I guess because more grand tactician stuff was going into YouTube than there was previously. He be he became a little more well-known because of that. And he has a lot of good um, tutorial videos. So if you're looking to learn the game, like I, I'm not going to, I'll be honest, I'll suck at making tutorial videos. I won't even try to make them. I probably could, but Great Scots has got so many out there. I just direct everybody to him. Okay, is Darth Vegan still making videos? Because I have not seen him in a while. So he's popped on my stream a few times, but I haven't seen any of his videos in a minute. And quite honestly, by playing this game on my channel, I'm probably killing my algorithm right now. So that's the problem with uh, changing games up on your channel. And there was another newer YouTuber who had some good content also besides vegan. Uh, it was a Mai Tai Gaming, but he's kind of been like off and on with the videos. So I think he's a full-time bartender. I keep going after the same port. I got to get somebody in there. 
Oh, another lone light cruiser. Let's go take her down. Main games are Daisy and Stadia. Yeah, I've been watching you for the DayZ content because it's a game I, I'm interested in watching, but I haven't been interested in playing, but I like watching it. Oh, Mechawatt. I actually forgot about Mechawatt. He was in the hospital for two months. Oh, shit. I actually forgot about him. I hate to say that, but I did. Uh, Worms and Warriors hasn't done anything in a while because he's busy with work and college. Which I, I find a little upsetting because he hit that thousand subscriber mark to start earning money from, uh, to actually start earning money from YouTube. And that's when he started dying on the content because he got too busy for it. And that is a thing. Not everybody, you know, not everybody does this full time and makes money off of it. Yeah, but every time he releases a video says, hey, I'm coming back, he kind of falls off again because he, he just doesn't have the time. As long as he puts out a video at least once a month, he should be good. Gettysburg twice. I'm out there at least four times a year. I'm out there all the damn time. So if uh, you ever head out that way and you want to link up, I'll definitely do that. Uh, I met up with Grimwolf uh, a few months ago during Remembrance Day. Oh, looks like we've got a mutually short... Yeah, three torpedoes. Goodbye, 192. Good knowing you. Oof. Oh, he might survive. No, no, he won't. But we hit him for the same amount of damage with just two torpedoes, and we took out all three of his engines. Goodbye. Good. Uh, it's a 10 hour drive. <laughs> oh, and there she goes. She sank before my torpedo boat sinks. So we didn't lose anybody. I think it's the first battle, I didn't lose a single boat. <laughs> Oh shit. Computers toast? That sucks. And computers today are expensive. I was looking at buying a new computer because of the channel, but because I'm not monetized, outside of memberships, I'm not monetized. I don't get any of that revenue money, uh, any of that ad money from YouTube because I don't have a thousand subscribers. Uh, so I really wanted to buy a new one just for the channel. So I could start putting out some better content, do some better editing. Because you might, the laptop I run this on is getting long in the tooth. It's a few years old now. So it's a good computer. It's a an Alienware 15. So it's a really, it still holds up well for its age, but it's starting to show uh, a little bit of chunkiness. All right, I got to move some ships into this port. Where do they keep hitting? Huawei. No, they got ships. Which port doesn't have ships? Port Arthur. So I'm going to move all the ships from Titan to Port Arthur. Because that's where they keep striking. Not your oldest movement out. You may have a place for a tabletop. All right. Yeah, the anniversaries are great, though. Uh, lately, 09 was probably one of the last good ones. Because uh, what was it, about 2010, 2012, we started having all the protests and stuff pop up around the uh, reenactments. Some of that's died out, so reenacting's coming back, but not as big as I'd like to see it.
Yeah, we need to go to war with Germany, but not yet, because I don't think they're going to be sending a fleet over to protect Sing Tao. How many troops they got in there? They got 7,900 soldiers in there, so... We probably could go to war with them. They're at negative 18 with us, but I want to go to war with the British first, because Germany only has 85 ships, and I don't send them, see them sending them out to the Pacific anytime soon. Yeah, upgrading and replacing a PC gets very expensive. Like, I use my laptop, though I want to stop using it for this. I'd rather have a desktop for this. You know, because I... You know, I want to use the laptop more for when I start doing the travel things this summer. Like when I take my road trip, like I want to use it more for that and get it detached from all the equipment I have it attached to right now. Well, we won't have to launch an invasion because we can invade that from, uh, the army can invade that from Northern China. We surround it. It's just, uh, so a naval invasion wouldn't be necessary. Only at negative 26 with the British. Come on. We got to get our ambassador to walk into the palace and insult the queen. Actually, it's 1893. Isn't there a king in charge? Uh, I don't, I don't know if it'll give me the naval. I don't, I don't have the, the tonnage because I'm all torpedo boats. I don't have the tonnage for a naval invasion, even if I wanted to do one. So we'd probably attack from land, which I don't control. Well, yeah, Grim, uh, one of my biggest gripes, and I think I talked to you about it at Gettysburg, is you have all these guys who are getting out of the hobby, but they're selling their equipment at an extremely premium price. In some cases, selling it for more than what they per which I understand. I mean, selling it for more than you purchased it for, but when your equipment's like 50% degraded and you're selling it like it's brand new, you got to check yourself. You want to help people get into the hobby? Reduce the price. If someone's really showing an interest in doing it, you got to reduce your price a little bit. All right, Victoria's still in charge at this time? Okay. Red Cross urges Empire of Japan, our nation, to accept an exchange. No, we do not negotiate. Yeah, the army gets used, though we don't control it at all. We only control the Navy. The, uh, we have no control of the government. We have no control of the army. They do their own thing. Looking about 800 just replace the CPU, GPU, and getting a 4 terabyte M2. And that's, even 800 is actually kind of cheap for that. Ooh, I just realized we got a ton of money now. We're, we're bringing in $34 million a month, almost $35 million. We're over a billion dollars for my budget. Oh, we're going to be able to do some fun things once I start designing a new fleet in 95. Torpedo boat against torpedo boat. I'm not going to fight that. And they did better than we did. All right. I can live with that. I mean, one torpedo boat against one torpedo boat, that'd just be <laughs> pretty boring. And probably would have been a mutually assured destruction scenario anyway. So about a decade before World War One. Okay, when when did she take uh when did she take the crown then? What year? Oh, don't tell me we froze. Come on. I know you can do it. Yeah. 
Yeah, Zippos always sound good when you open them up. Uh, you know, I told myself when I retired from the army I was going to quit, and that was two years ago, and I still haven't quit. Okay, so she was on the throne as long as Elizabeth was. Okay, I think the game froze. All right. Let's go restart this. This is just a very memory intensive game. And with the uh, streaming software running, it does not help. All right, you're going to see the gate, the screen go blank here for a minute while I get this restarted. There we go. Thankfully, it saves on every turn automatically. Go to the convoy fight, so let's refight that on the auto resolve. Yeah, and we got a better result that time anyway. That works out. <laughs> Only by a couple of years, but she still beat her. We'll fight to the end. Uh, another one torpedo boat against torpedo boat. Medium heavy. Yeah. We're not really pissing the British off enough at all. We're only negative 26 with them. Uh, doesn't look like the Japanese one actually want to fight us anymore. We sank their torpedo boat. Oh, Canada wants to buy three of our Y1s. Yes, we'll sell them to you. We gotta do more to piss off the British. They still got a few ships to fight with. We'll take a look at that here in a second, because they still got a couple of battleships in the water. But uh, every time they come out to fight us, they lose their battleships to our torpedo boats, so I don't think they want to send them near us anytime soon. Whoa! Three torpedo boats against this? Where are they striking? Way away. I only got three torpedo boats in way away. Well, let's see if we can get their battleship. Three torpedo boats against a battleship, six heavy cruisers, five light cruisers, and three of their torpedoes. I want to see... Oh, and a... Damn it. 
got fog. Moderate seas. Oh, we're not going to be able to move at full speed. Damn it. Look at this thing bouncing Bob. <laughs> I would not want to serve on this thing. There they are. That's probably their battleship in the lead again. So we're going to go right at her with these three boats. down the plane. Let's see what we got over here. here. Looks like a light cruiser. Got here. That's the battleship. That's what we want. Though they're closing in on us fast. I don't think we're going to be able to get at her. Uh, 119, I think we're going to be launching at this light cruiser over here. Oh, it's a torpedo boat. I thought it was a light cruiser over there, but that's fine. Oh, shit. Battleship is right next to us, and I... Damn it. Your ship was bouncing like this in port. It's got to be built worse than these things. <laughs> We took down their torpedo boat. Ours might get away. But it's ramming the sinking boat, so it's taking damage off. Here's our main target, the Setsu. Let's go get her. Oh, uh, she's running. And stay on her port side so these ships fire into her as we're passing by. That'll help. Looking at this torpedo boat bounce away in this ocean. <laughs> oh, God. Launch. Launch, damn it. There we go. Both of them hit. Nice. Got her engines and make her an easier target. It's a matter of my torpedo boats getting out of here and surviving until the battleship sinks. Both hit, but only for 906 damage. Alright, let's get everybody out of here. We're done with our runs. Hopefully we put her down. Or at least heavy damage. Oh, looks like she might be going down.
Sink before my torpedo boat does, please. No! Oh, she survived with like 2% float left. Oh. No. Oh, we got her. She's gone. We got her. Oh, you're on a coastal mine hunter. Get boot prints going halfway up the bulkhead sometimes. <laughs> People looking at the micro center in Brooklyn has a rise in 5, 5600, 3P, 460. That's actually not a bad price. For what you getting? What type of warranty does it come with? If it only comes with the uh, the one year guaranteed warranty, I wouldn't go for it though. And you gotta look at how it's built internally. If they shoved it into a bad box, it's. Not worth the money. That's a beautiful looking ship right there. I'm not a Navy guy, but that is nice to look at. So we got the set suit. We did what we came out to do. Nice. Three torpedo boats for a battleship, that is well worth the cost. For me, that's four and a half million dollars to what? Almost 50 million for the uh, Japs? All right, you have a good one, A Cup. Yeah, I'm going to be ending this one in a few minutes anyway. I'm about finishing this up at midnight, my time. It will go a little longer, I don't know. No, I said, ah, uh, my government signed peace. All right. All right. Oh, we don't want any of their boats. We'll take the 453 million. All right. Damn it. It's going to take us a minute to get to... Why does the United States not like us? We're at negative 55. Is it because we're selling stuff to the Canadians? I, like I said, it's it literally is a victory and defeat. I mean, that's a Pyrrhic victory for the Japanese. Because you got to think, my boats cost about a million and a half each. That battleship probably cost them around 50 million. So, I mean, that, that's a trade-off I'm willing to take any day. Actually, we still don't even... Canadians haven't bought anything from us. I was still allied with them. Because it's not getting its railroad builders anymore. The USA is mad. <laughs> oh, crap. It's January. All right. I'm supposed to do... Uh, it was 90, January 94. I'm supposed to go to... Uh, building more ports. Even with our peacetime money, we're still making $19 million a month. But that's about to drop down because I'm going to keep expanding our... <clears throat> our dry docks.
All right, does it better not froze again? I still see things. There we go. As long as the log is moving, I know something's going on. All right, so we got to keep adding to our tonnage build. It's now 1894, so we're going to see what takes more than a year that we want. All right, nothing's going to take more than a year. And we'll get the 700-ton torpedo boat. That's good. All right. Looks like we're going to be able to get to uh, our 95 refit. Yeah, I don't think that's a joke too many people are actually going to get. You're amazed at how many people don't know the Chinese helped build the uh, Transcontinental Railroad. And that's mostly because the uh, West Coast side lost the race. Government is interested to know if you could guarantee victory over Empire Japan in the upcoming war. Yep, I know I can guarantee it. We already, we've already proven that. Kind of wants to buy another one of our boats, okay. You keep wanting to buy those cheap boats, I'll keep selling them to you. China said, no longer shall we be the sick man of Asia. There's our history sprinkled into the drinking wall. <laughs> I mean, China's kind of like the Ottoman Empire at the time. Everybody calls it the sick man, but it really wasn't as sick as everybody says it was. Like, how long did they call the Ottoman Empire the sick man in Europe? And it hung around for like another 150 years after they started using that name. So, yeah. Nope, don't want to increase tensions with Spanish. else coming up it's gonna to take too long nope so when it comes to the research i'll actually go back into the research screen in a minute here i know a few of you guys don't know this game at all No, I mean, the Chinese Empire was sick internally because of all the warlords running everything. I mean, they're going through, in this time period, what the Japanese were going through, uh, honestly, not even 30 years prior, at the uh, end of the warlords. So, it wasn't until the 1860s that the uh, separate warlords came to an end. So, the Chinese were just still going through it 30 years later. And World War II, you're talking... A hundred years later. Ooh, better torpedo tubes. We can definitely use those. So the thing is with research... I know some of you guys don't know this game, so you do get three priorities. So I can prioritize three things on here. Problem is with using priorities is you take away money from other projects. So you can prioritize something every turn and get things done faster, but you're taking money away from everything else, which means it'll take longer. So I made that mistake during my first camp, my first test campaign. I kept prioritizing things every month using all my priorities and I ended up technological wise, technology wise, I was behind every other nation in the game because I did that. So now I only use the priorities. So I do a five year building program. So the last year, so that we're in 1894 going to 95 when I want to refit my current ships, build a new class. I look at what's going to take more than 12 months that I want 
Not not something that's going to take more than 12 months that I don't need. But something that I need that's going to take more than 12 months, I'll prioritize it over everything else. Yeah, that was the uh, that was that was the end of the warlord period. Honestly, eighteen seventy seven. Rebe- it really wasn't even a rebellion. It was just uh, no one was rebelling against the emperor of Japan. It was the two types of government still present in Japan. You had modern Japanese government and the feudal government ex- existing at the same time. Nobody was rebelling against the emperor. They were. There was the two types of government fighting each other. You had the last of the daimyos, the last of the samurai. Basically, and there was actually a movie called That, The Last of the Samurai, which goes over this time period. So you had the end of the daimyos plus the modern government just going head to head against each other. Is basically what it came down to. Yeah, I've seen those games also, uh, Grim Wolf, because I do watch Wolf Pack. Uh, they just, they're, they're just not up my alley. Be honest with you. I enjoy Wolfpack's content. It's just those games that he does play. You know, just like anybody else. Like I, you know, you kind of want a little bit more of excitement out of it. You know, special machinery. Sixteen months. Hydraulic steering gear. We could use that. Yeah, I'm going to be designing a light cruiser, so that brings that down. So that's something that I want, because we're going to be designing a light cruiser, so I want that new steering gear. And I want these funnels. Okay, that just moved that up to one month. So now we have those new funnels. I'll take that priority off of that research so the money flows back into every other project. At a press conference, you asked about recent evidence that foreign espionage targets our Navy. How do you respond? More to question, three unrest. We only got three unrest. Intrigued them by mixing Spanish Empire's involvement in the case. Plus one arrest my three relations with the Spanish. Refer to the matter as a constructed rumor made for internal political games. Minus five prestige minus three. We'll just ignore the question. I can eat, I can eat I can eat the three on the rest. Okay, and I want to buy another one of our boats, okay. I will keep selling them. Because right now they're the only person buying them. <laughs> Go kick the British again. Research. All right, turn off the boilers. Special machinery will be done in four months. That's good. How long will it take if I turn that off? 13 months. So, yeah, I need to keep that turned on. Don't need the ASW stuff yet. He plays Silent Hunter and a few, he plays a few submarine games. I think Silent Silent Hunter's the more modern one, and I mean his name his name is Wolfpack, but I think the World War II game is actually called Wolfpack. Also, I'm not sure. Seven hundred ton torpedo boats, nice. And a cruise five months on a cruiser hole, what? That'll be done before the year's up. Okay, so, yeah. Honestly, Grimwolf, that's probably because they are working on a new game. That's prob They're probably either working on Napoleon because that'd, that'd probably be the only other period you could do with a map that's controllable. Because you could do a Grand Europe map for that game easily. Based on uh, the US map, they could do one easily. And if that's what they're doing, I'm looking very, very much forward to it.
that's coming up. Okay, we can knock that off because I'll be done in four months. So we can take that off. That'll be fine. All right. You got money going to every program now. Well, we're coming up on building a, we're going to refit our current torpedo boats, build a new type of torpedo boat, and also build ourselves a light cruiser. So 95 will give ourselves a new light cruiser, 1900 will do a heavy cruiser, 1905 will do ourselves a battleship. Just like uh, my main campaign. So I try to do everything every five years because technology is at a point where it makes sense. Kick the British again. Who else should I be kicking? Who else? I don't want to kick the Americans because why are the Americans at negative 65 with us? They're not in the Pacific and we're not on the West Coast of the U.S. Hell no, Josh. Winter clothes are for the week. My men will go in in t-shirts and shorts. And they will climatize themselves or die trying. Oh, good. Negative 12 with the British. Perfect. Oh, you're right. I do have oil now, so I can't use it yet. That's why the, that's why the Americans don't like us. They see oil. They want it. <laughs> Political party that has won the majority in parliament wants to push through a bill to reduce financing of the fleet. What is your reaction? Speaking Parliament about potential threat of German Empire. Mm. Ignore one percent naval budget plus one percent GDP. You know what? We're gonna fully support the idea. It minus our naval budget by negative two percent, which is not a big deal, but it'll give us plus two percent on the GDP. You always want the GDP growing in this game. Unless you're almost going broke. You want the GDP to grow because the GDP growth, you get extra money every month as long as the GDP is growing. So we'll take that, cause especially because we're not at war with anybody right now. Let's go kick the British again. Well, Dustin, yeah, I hope they take every lesson learned to the new game. And I think a lot of stuff with the Whiskey and Lemons DLC will probably be base in the new game. And if it takes them five years, like, if they release a game every five years, I'll be happy with that. Because people complain, oh, it takes so long, it takes so long between games, but, like, if I gotta wait five years for a good game to come out that matches the first game, I will wait for that. I will happily wait for that. Because, I mean, when you look at what some of these other game studios have done, that, uh, look at the Total War series. That went from, like, a good game series that literally came out, like, I played, I discovered Total War with Total War Shogun, the first game they dropped. Like, that's how long I've been playing that series. I bought that game when it came out. And I think that was in, uh, 99 or 2000 that game came out and no one else knew about what no one knew what total war was and i was playing that game and it, you just seen it gone downhill since then because they've been they've gone from releasing a good game every five years to window dressing an old game and releasing every year and they've lost a lot of their fan base because of that So 
hope it doesn't take 20 years like the old me. <laughs> it, I mean, even when Cyberpunk released for all of its issues, it was still a very, very good game. Yeah, Medieval 2 was a good game. I wish they would... They need to stop releasing games every year and settle down and focus on doing every five years again and releasing an excellent game. Because that's where their money is. That's where they make their money. Sumatra and Southern England. Yeah, it doesn't do anything for us. German Empire sent us an ultimatum demanding financial compensation for our discovered acts of espionage. Government is interested in your opinion about this. Agree to their demand because our fleet is... Yeah, no. Refuse. Rhetoric is unacceptable. Yeah, fuck them. I'll take negative 10 uh, on that. And another negative 7 with the British. Very good. Southern Finland is rebelling. Denmark is invading the Virgin Islands? <laughs> really? Battle of Timor, Portugal. Yep, all right. Battle of Southern Finland. All right. Yeah, I didn't know Cyberpunk was a tabletop game until the video game came out. I'd never heard of it. I don't think Total War could do a great war game. I really don't. God damn it, Streamlabs. He, uh, yeah, he, watch the caps. I've been trying to get that turned off on Streamlabs, but it doesn't want to pay attention to me. Where are we with the Germans? Yeah, let's poke the Germans too. Why not? We'll go, we'll alter, because I can only poke every other year with the country, so we'll poke the British and Germans back and forth. So it's now January of 1895. So it is time to uh, do a refit on our existing torpedo boats, because they've been in service for five years. Build ourselves a new torpedo boat as a replacement, and then design ourselves a light cruiser. Let's refit. So we're at 268. The refit, we already dropped down to 258 because of the new construction technologies. So I'm not going to change the, when it comes to refitting ships, I'm not going to change tonnage or anything like that. So the, to me, that's a total redesign of a ship that I will not be doing anything like that. Oh, we don't have, we don't have forced boilers yet. Ooh, so we unlocked that. We usually have that unlocked by now. All right. But we do have steam expansion 40. That drops us to 247. We got better shelves. We can go soft cap on the HE. Standard on the AP. We can now get white powder propellant. Gun cotton. Enhance the reload on our guns. We got 16 inch torpedoes. That brings us to 248 tons of 275. So let's see if we can get our speed up. No, nope, 31's too much. Let's try 30. 262. Can we increase our range? 270, 275. We now have 30 knots of speed, 2,700 kilometer range. Better torpedoes and better ammo. So we'll save that refit. Play D and D first, and we're introduced to Cyberpunk later. Yeah, I had, I played D and D when I was young. I played D and D a lot in the barracks back in the early two thousands. Uh, so I didn't know anything about Cyberpunk. Actually, a game I do love that's now a lot more popular since the pandemic it was a uh, BattleTech. That was a game like nobody had ever heard of, and then during the pandemic, it became a huge game because someone, uh, a new studio, kind of bought the game. Has been running, doing good things with it. I'm glad to see that though I'm, I'm not into tabletop anymore but i'm glad to see the rise of that game again so 
long some oh <laughs> you're talking about Streamlabs. okay <laughs> i i got confused by the comment for a second jeremy <laughs> I don't think anybody was here. If they weren't here earlier, they're not going to get it. <laughs> I never played. I know there's a World War One mod for Total War. I just never played it myself. I, I enjoyed the Civil War one. I mean, Dustin, they're they're late to the punch because that last great war game that came out is a good game. It would probably be very similar. So I don't think they could pull it off, to be honest with you. So let's refit our current ships. Eight point four million, or call it eight point five million, it'll only take one month. So that's well worth the money. You haven't heard that name in decades. I mean, there's a good. I mean, there's a good video game. I played it myself a lot. I just haven't put it on the channel. Is a uh, BattleTech does have a bit does have a, a a good strategy game, not the first person shooter games, but there was a good like tabletop style strategy game that I play modded out with uh called Rogue Tech, and I enjoy the hell out of it because I, I I love the old tabletop game. I played Warhammer 40k back during Second Edition. I still have a lot of the models. I gotta dig them out. I gotta dig them out of my mother's attic because I could probably get a lot of money for them. All right, so we refit that class. We're gonna build a new class, a torpedo boat, to slowly start replacing those ones. We can get these up to seven hundred tons. Okay, we're supposed to have the seven hundreds, but it's only let me do five. That's fine. Give our speed to 30 knots, reduce the range, spacious quarters, engine three. Repair. Okay, we didn't get the new tower, so the things I thought we would have unlocked by now, we don't. Big funnels, but that gives us engine efficiency 72%. Do the four inch and the two two inchers again. Torpedo launchers. Why are we only getting the Mark ones? We have Mark two unlocked. Whatever. And she will have three torpedo launchers. That puts us at four eighteen or four four eighteen of five hundred. So we can. Let's get the speed up by another knot. That gives us 442. Can we get up to 32 knots? Nope, too much. Too much on the engine. 31, better range. I don't have any anti-mine warfare stuff yet. Nope, I didn't go through the shells. So it was soft capped on the HG, standard on the AP. White powder, gun cotton. Ants reload. 16 inch torpedoes, 460 of 500, 476 of 500 with a 4200 kilometer range. Can we get that a little higher? 4900, almost a 5000 kilometer range. We're sitting at 492 of 500. Yes. And we will call this class the Gilligan's Island class. What historical tie would you like to see Total War release? I would like to see them do a total uh a medieval three. Is really why I want to see them do. Or actually. Yeah, medieval three. Medieval three. Or even a Shogun three. I, I feel Shogun 2 was a little too archaic. As much as I like Shogun 2, especially when it went into the gunpowder era, it was. I didn't play the medieval style of the game because that's when they started going arcadey and I did not like that. Rome 2 I enjoyed, especially modded out with uh, especially uh, the Day Imperata mod, I think it was called. 
which slowed everything down, made it much more realistic, which I really enjoyed. So I would like to see him do a Medieval 3. I think a lot of people would. You know, honestly, I didn't like Napoleon Total War. I actually, I preferred Empire Total War over that because you could, because Napoleon felt more like a DLC for Empire. I'll be honest with you. It felt like a DLC for Empire. All right, we have the Gilligan's Island class now. Still not a ship I'd love to serve on. <laughs> Build 10 of these. As soon as the refits are done, I'm going to automatically mothball 10 of these to take them out of the fleet and sell them off to Canada. Yeah, you know what? We'll do that. There's a Gilligan's Island. Can I change the name of this? Yes, I can. You got the Gillingas Island, the Minnow. Why does it not let me doing it now? There we go. I'm going to do this one, the Skipper. Millionaire and his wife. The movie star. Professor. <laughs> and we can't forget about Marianne. She was the hottest woman on that show. And we can't forget about Gilligan either. Minnow, the skipper, the millionaire, and his wife, the movie star, the Professor Marianne. <laughs> I think we got everybody covered. <laughs> that was it. The Vidat Emperor. That was a good mod. Yeah, I can't wait for Cable's 40K series either. I am so... Because I know he's a fan. So I know he's going to be doing that. He's going to be running that pretty well. And actually, Grimwolf, we'll name this one after... Since you are a channel member, we're going to name this one after you. There we go. <laughs> You can be stranded on Gilligan's Island with everybody else. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, Napoleon was basically like a DLC for Empire with better graphics. Oh, I got to add a little buddy. You're right. I forgot about that nickname. I forgot about that. We got to add a little buddy. I mean, Gilligan's already got a ship named after him, but we got to give the nickname all, out also. And I forgot to design... I, I'm so busy talking about... <laughs> This I forgot to design a light cruiser, so we got to do that right now. Uh, so let's go back to the fleet. We got to name a little buddy. Here we go to little buddy. I think we get we got 
all 10 of the new ships covered. And we got to do ourselves a light cruiser. I totally forgot. What do we got for light cruisers? We got semi-armored hull. I don't want to use this one. Light cruiser two. So this can go up to 7,000, which we can't build that high. Light cruiser two goes up to 7,000. It's got 70 hull form. How much is our max displacement? 4,000. That will cost me 4.7 just for the hull. My cruiser one only goes up to 3,500. Experimental three mass goes to 33. Standard three mass goes up to 52. And the hull will cost me 3.8. Twenty knot speed. Use the range because we don't need the range. Yeah, let's play with this. There we go. It's an old sailing ship that's got some iron thrown onto her. The fried rice class. <laughs> Your band, yeah. <laughs> funnels. Uh, we only got the thick funnels. Thick funnel one. Thick funnel two. Let's go with thick funnel two for right now. I can't even put those on there. Can I put the one funnel on? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. This is going to be ugly. Main guns. Dustin, thank you for becoming a member. Can we put sevens on here? No, we can't. I can't even put sevens on here. Uh, five inches. Okay, I, I, yeah, we can do something with this. Five inches all around. Yes. That's a lot of firepower. <laughs> Secondaries. Can I get some three inches on here? Is that one three incher? Two inches. Can I get two inches on here? Yes. Oh, come on. I should be able to. Two inches, there should be a cr like two inches and one inches. There should be crow's nests up here. I could drop those into. That'd be fucking great. Well, the five inches actually are main guns. For a light cruiser, they actually are a main gun. So I'm going to put casemates on. We're already at 3,900 tons. Let me hold off on the casemates. We can only put one torpedo. Oh, it's got a dual bow. Look at that. Dual bow launchers. Why are you not turning? I didn't want you to put those there. All right, so. You can have two launchers in the bow, but it's got like no aiming. Yeah, we're not going to put those up there. That's not worth it. All right, so that's right. We don't have to induce steam yet, but we can go steam expansion three. That drops us to 3,600. Balanced rudder. Hydraulic steering. We got nickel steel, 3,500. Barbet two. Double hole bottom for torpedoes. Force bulkheads. I think we can make this work. Soft cap. 
standard white powder, gun cotton. Still only have hydraulic turrets, enhanced reload, 16-inch torpedo. Once in this one range finder. That didn't actually didn't add any weight. Mine layer two. 3,700, okay. Let's throw some casemates in now. How many casemates can we throw in here? That's the two per side. That's 3860. <laughs> Dual I'm not going to be charging these headlong into the enemy fleet. Wait, where did my five inches up front go? Did I, did I get rid of those by mistake? Where did my forward fives go? Whoa, why do those things have such a bad... What the? You guys see that? That tiny... They got like no field of view. What about fours? Oh, it's that damn two inches behind it. Okay, let's get rid of those. There we go. So, yeah, let's drop those two inches. That actually puts us over tonnage, so let's drop the casemates. I don't think the casemates are necessary. 33,948. Okay. Now, these are Mark 1 5 inches. They can pen 2.2 inches of belt armor at 1,000 meters. And I feel we're going to be fighting within 1,000 meters with these things. How much is our belt? Our belt is 2.3, so our belt is actually better than what our guns can penetrate. Pitch is 42, roll is 31. Engine efficiency is only 49, but I can only fit the one friggin' funnel on here. I'm going to keep this pair of three inches just to deal with torpedo boats. Three thousand nine forty eight. Can I get another knot out of her? Nope, that's too much. So twenty knots. What about some more range? Four thousand sixty four. That's too much. Okay. Drop back down, and let's add a little bit more armor onto her then. 3,968. Oh, we didn't add first inner deck on the Citadel. There we go. 3,979. 3,989 of 4,000. I think we got it. And uh, Dustin, just because you became a channel member, I think we're going to name this class after you. We'll call this the Blake class. Uh, I can't touch the center mass that's built into the hull itself. Now the forward mass, can I scooch that forward? No, it's as far. If I could scooch the forward mast forward, I could fit the one more five, but I can't scooch it forward any further. Yeah, it's that center mast is part of the hull, so I can't touch it. Because I would like to, but we don't need these to go fast. We don't need them to go far. That's the thing. They don't need to be fast. They don't have to go far. That's the whole thing. They're just here for coastal defense. So we're declaring war on everybody and making them come to us. Blake class it is. Save that design. And we're going to build 10 of these off the bat.
They just need to make it from New York to Cuba. <laughs> uh, not this campaign. Uh, we're on, uh, we're China in this uh, campaign. So all they have to do is make it from uh, the mainland to Japan. How long would these take to build? 11 months. I'd rather those be faster. And we'll let the AI drop them wherever. Because we're not at war with anybody right now. So I can move them around as necessary after they drop. Oh, and those other 10 did refit. So one of the things you can do in this game is you can actually mothball ships and sell them. You can't sell them directly to anybody, but people will offer to buy them. So we're going to get rid of these 10. One thing that sucks is you have to do this individually with the crews on each ship is drop them to zero so they mothball. And we're allied with Canada. So they should purchase these. You don't get as much money back as you spent on them, but you're not just scrapping them and not getting anything back either. So you get a little something out of it. I mean, if we can grab the land down under, we'll do it, but uh, I don't know if we can do that in this campaign. We'll see. I'm, I'm more interested in grabbing Borneo right now than I am Australia. Yep, there we go. They want to buy one of the old boats right there. 684000 Nowhere near the price I paid for it, but I, instead of scrapping them where you get nothing, they you get a little bit of money out of selling them. Uh, you cannot you cannot get it from the from the uh, roll tab. You got to take the crew off of it completely in order to mothball it. You can only do that one at a time, which is a little annoying. During naval exercise, our fleet, a small cruise ship in the United States, was sunk due to accidental fire. A cruise ship. Express your deepest apologies through diplomatic channels, provide compensation. The exercise error was indicated in advance, so it was not our fault. Yeah. Prime Minister believes our Navy's crew training level is inadequate. How do you respond? Yeah, we'll agree with them and tell them to give us more money. And he's right because we're not really training our crews. They want to buy another used boat. We'll sell it to them. Actually, I should raise my crew's training up to at least 50%. I'm not so worried about crew training. As your ships fight, the crews get better as they gain experience. What does Borneo get us? Well, if we take North Borneo, that province is worth $271 million a month. If we take Brunei, that's $248 million. So, that's over $500 million a month to our GDP right there. Plus, it allows us to launch land invasions against uh, Sarawak, which is worth uh, another 124. So the colonies are where the money is. Uh, not yet. I don't think I could start building those until about 1910. If I remember correctly, yep. I'll keep selling you my old used boats. Uh, 
increase the tension with the British again because we're only at negative 48 with them. Germans were only at negative 35, so they're starting to like us again. But we're at negative 70. I don't want to go to war with the U.S. because they don't have anything that we want. They have no colonies here in the Pacific. And I, I doubt we can get our war score high enough to grab Panama from them. And that's the only other thing they have. Unless they've taken something out here. Nope. Hawaii is still its own nation. Yeah, right now it's the British and the French that we want to grab stuff from. And go to war with Germany because they hold one port on the Chinese mainland. And I kind of want to take that from them. Canada would like to order three of the Gillingham Island class boats. Yes, we will sell you those. <laughs> We will sell you those easily. And they want to buy one of our used boats, too. Very good. <coughs> I would like to have more minor nations aligned with us. Because we can just make it. We could take We can make a ton of money just building boat. Like being the arms dealer of the world and just selling them our crap. <laughs> so we poked at the British last turn. Let's poke at the Germans this turn. What I need our ambassador to do is walk his way right into Westminster Palace and insult the Queen to her face so we can get a war going. And Canada wants to buy three of our Blake class light cruisers. Yes, we will sell those. They want to buy another used boat? Yes. Canada's building up their fleet. <laughs> I wonder what they're up to. 1812 in reverse, maybe? <laughs> Russian Empire is offering a trade agreement which turns out to be more profitable for them yeah if it's more profitable for them screw them oh and I forgot to poke the British that turn Okay, have a cruise up to 7,000. Now we got the Mark II five inches. All right. So the light cruisers will get those during the next refit. Yes, I will sell that to you. Tip over another teacup. It's taking forever to get the British pistol off at us. Negative 13. Okay, we did something to piss them off. <laughs> Maybe we swap one of the Admiral's Indian tea for uh, a green tea. I don't know. But we did something. That was good. That was good. That brings us to negative 69 with the British. So let's go see, steal some Wiener Schnitzel from the Germans. sell you that so those 10 new torpedo boats are done building so let's mothball another 10 
build us 10 more of the new ones. Gave him some sweet southern iced tea with some biscuits and gravy. <laughs> Ooh, I can go for some biscuit and gravy right now. I haven't had that. Being in New York, that's not something you can get a hold of too often. I know one diner that makes it in Jersey. But I can't find it here in the city itself. British again. I'm making myself hungry. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I, all I'm thinking about is the idea of biscuit and gravy right now. I don't want any eggs or anything else to go with it. I just want biscuit and gravy. <laughs> And the British ignored us. So I keep selling you my used garbage. Let's poke the Germans again. My 10 CLs have finished building. Very good. Uh, they don't do so well up here, to be honest with you. Barbecue joints in the city don't too, do too well. There's a good, there's a famous one in the city called Blue Smoke. But, uh, it just, barbecue joints just do not do well in the city at all. Negative 13 with the German Empire, nice. Still earning 18 million a month. Oh, that's because... We gotta keep building our dockyard finished. So we gotta build more tonnage. There we go. Nine million a month. How much of our lights costing us to upkeep? Two hundred and seventy grand a month for the most part on average. So yeah, we'll build ten more of those. Uh, there is no, uh, I guess you can, uh, New York City Home Fries, actually. The uh, New York City Home Fries got a lot of, uh, peppers, onions, more, uh, pretty spicy, I guess. Oh, wait, that's the Gilligan's Islands. I want that. I want the Blake's. Ten more of those. At Nine million in each, and not that bad on cost. And we're still making a million dollars a month even with building 10 more of those. Yeah, I'm drooling thinking about goddamn biscuit and gravy and southern barbecue right now. Something else I can go for that you cannot get up here in the city is some fried okra. Nobody makes it up here. Trying as hard as I can to get us into another war here. And I want to war with the Germans so I can take back to Port of Sing Tao from them. I understand what the British good. We're almost at war with the British now. How much is Port of Sing Tao worth? That's worth four hundred and fifty million. I want that. Can introduce you some of this food down here on the border. Oh, I I know, I know. I had some friends on the border mission years ago who kept telling me the same thing. Okay, guys, we I'm sorry, guys. We got to stop talking about food. You're all making me hungry now. That's 
<laughs> Special for food I can't get here in New York, damn it. <laughs> All right, a little bit more and we'll be at war with the British. Let's once again go kick the Germans. I got to love them with the Germans. Nice. All right. That's good. Uh, Rogue Saber, when it comes to Williamsburg, you have to go to a specific restaurant. Like, I know Williamsburg very well. You have to go to specific restaurants to get good food. People talk about the Williamsburg food, but it's only because of specific. But like every region of New York City, much like every region, whatever city you go to, certain restaurants are known for their food and others are not. And Williamsburg is not the same now as it was 30 years ago when I was a kid. The food's not... It's a completely demographic now, which means the food has changed completely. Oh, they were down there about a decade ago, Dustin. That was about a decade ago on the mission. Back when, during the early days of the border mission when New York was allowing uh, National Guard soldiers to go down there. They don't, they don't allow it anymore because, you know, liberal state. Uh, actually, nowadays I can. You can basically, uh, New York City has so many, like New York City has always been an immigrant city and the demographics of every neighborhood changes about every 15 years or so. So the, uh, like even, even near me, uh, I live on Staten, like I'll, I'll tell people, I, I live on Staten Island, which is Borough 5 of the city. Uh, there's a lot of Middle Easterners out here now. So like there's Middle Easterners and Russians. So a lot of the Italians have left over the years. So there's a lot of more Russian food and Middle Eastern food, a uh, bunch of tiny uh, Chinese and Japanese food out here. So you, I, I, I can get whatever whatever the hell I'd like. Uh, Southern spices, I really do have to travel to other parts of the city for. But if I want like the Middle Eastern or uh, Eastern European stuff, I can get that get a hold of that very easily. Oh, those 10 torpedo boats finished, so we got to build some more. There's nothing specific behind the uh, the 10 at a time. It's just the way I do things. It, it keeps the cost down. Really what it comes down to. Let's build 10 more of those torpedo boats. Rogue Saber, yeah, we're Italian, and when we come back to Cleveland, couldn't get enough of our mob's food. Yep, <laughs> like I, I'm, I'm like I'm an American mutt. So I'm, I'm very, uh, my family's very eclectic. I'm a uh, like myself personally. If you go heritage, like I'm an American first and foremost, but uh, heritage wise, it's uh, Scotch, English, Irish, Italian, Albanian. My niece on top of that has Hawaiian and Puerto Rican. My cousins are Japanese. Uh, my family's pretty eclectic. Uh, I also have black cousins from other parts of my family. My, my family's very Americanized. We're, we're, you, you name a nationality, it's probably somewhere in my bloodline at this point. Uh, actually, my niece's, uh, my niece's uh, 
first kid. There, uh, my great nephew, or as what? What did my niece call me? Oh, she called me a grunkle. I'm her. I'm the the grumpy great uncle. So she called me a grunkle. Uh, he's also a uh, what was he? Albanian and something else. Albanian's also in my bloodline, also. So he's my family's very eclectic. It's hard to keep track of it all at this point. <laughs> All right, go kick the Germans again. Almost at war with the British. Right now, Oklahoma is getting a lot of immigrants from California. It's seeing an influx of Taiwanese and Filipino restaurants. Uh, yeah, I mean, but a lot of people, a lot of people are leaving California. A lot of people are, and I don't blame them. To be honest with you, last time I was in California was twenty years ago, and shit was expensive twenty years ago. I can only imagine what it's like these days. So a lot of the uh, the Filipinos and Taiwanese you should see coming in from California, are, they're already Americanized. A lot of those families have been here 50 plus years, even, even longer. I, remember I had one neighbor complaining, like my next, my direct next door neighbor is uh, Chinese, but his family's been here actually longer than my family. So my family didn't come over here until in between World War One and World War II. And his family came over back in the 1880s, 1890s. So he's actually been here longer than me. My, I had another neighbor complaining about, you know, Chinese living in the neighborhood. I'm like, that guy's been in this country longer than our families have. So you got nothing to bitch about. <laughs> and Russia now has a revolution. So I guess they're communists now. All right, 4,500 ton light cruisers now. Very good. Negative 11 with the Germans. Nice. In Canada, I will keep selling you whatever I have available. Still making $5 million a month, even with the ships being built. All right, negative 64 with the Germans. Negative 88 with the British. We just need a little bit more to get us to war with the British. Mmm, chicken and dumplings. Oh, you better watch that one. Albania and Italian, you better... Here in New York City, that's a big issue. <laughs> that's a big issue. Like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm Italian-Albanian, but my family left Albania back in the 1500s and moved to southern Italy in the 1500s. So my Italian side of my family, like, say, yeah, we're Albanian. I'm like, uh... We, we left Albania like four centuries ago. There's no Albanian left. <laughs> Embarrassing incident involving the Soviet Union. One of our most wealthy businessmen in naval construction industry is accused of illegal activities in our country. We prosecute this person. Yes, screw it. Let's piss off the Russians while we're at it. Why not? They want to order one of our... A brand new one of our old torpedo boats. Okay. Malaysia's new leader was found to support armed terrorists who disrupt national... Ooh. Yes. Where's... Right down here. How many, how many tons do we need? We only need 1,300 tons to take them over. Where the hell did my lights go? We have any in Hong Kong? Hong Kong fleet, move out. <laughs> we could take over Malaysia without a fight, basically. Holy crap. 1,300 tons, that's it? I could probably do it with one of my light cruisers, but I'll just send the whole fleet. <laughs> just to make sure the job's done. Yeah, that's an issue to what... Uh, like, I, I go to Pennsylvania a lot, and... I have a lot of friends who live there, and they, they wish I lived out there because I'm a very conservative guy myself. But they're like, there's too many New Yorkers and New Jerseyans who live there now, and they're trying to. I mean, they fled New York and New Jersey for a reason. That's because our shitty laws making things worse, and now they think applying those laws in Pennsylvania will make it better than where they left, and it's not. So uh, you tell them to fucking pack up their shit and, and tell those carpetbaggers to get the fuck out. 
That's what you got to do. Press accuses you and your staff for delays and disruption of ship construction. Navy has nothing to do with corruption caused by politicians. There we go. All right, so we only need 1,353 tons, and having 10,000 tons there only gives us a 67% chance. Really? Let's move some more ships there. Get two more seals and a bunch of torpedo boats. There we go. Hopefully, it'll be their next turn. Scandinavian British Islander here with a smidgen of Spanish and Cherokee. Yep. I, I think most Brits have a, have a smidgen of Spanish in them at some point or another. Brits as reverse Okies or old Okies. <laughs> Ooh, next time we do a refit in 1900, we should get some better stuff going on. There we go. 100% chance in one more turn, and then we'll have Borneo. Very good. Or at least a section of the island. Among a selection of other less than nice names. Yeah, everybody's got uh, not so nice names for the invaders. Uh, like I said, I live on Staten Island. And my family never lived in Brooklyn, but a lot of Italian Brooklyns moved here after they built the Verrazano Bridge. So if uh, you know the Verrazano Bridge, Staten Islanders, we called that thing the Guinea Gangplank. Because all the Italians were jumping ship from Brooklyn to land on Staten Island. Large industrial proposed redistribution government's budget. No. I don't like any of these choices. I'll go with that one. I can eat the uh, unrest. I only got 17 with that. All right. We've now landed on Borneo. Now the problem is we have to worry about a land invasion from the British. Send you back to the port of Tainan. I think I have to wait another turn before I can use this port, but we'll try. I want to leave one fleet there. Yeah, I heard some bad things about the major cities in Texas lately. Californians. <laughs> That's pretty fucking close to the truth, I'll be honest. Unless they're from Northern California. Northern Californians aren't so bad. But as long as they don't bring the zombie drug users with them. Allow you speed trap towns pull over California license plate. 50 50 chance they have unlicensed weed. That's true, though. Uh, they have to be careful about that. I think Kentucky got. Uh, I forget. Was it Kentucky? One of the states bordering Colorado got in trouble with that. Because it wasn't legal in their state and they knew it was legal in Colorado, so they're pulling over. A lot of Colorado plates. And they got in trouble with that in court. Um, I don't know if any of you guys uh, watch Steve Leto of Leto's Law on YouTube. Kansas, yep. So he covers a lot of that stuff. So uh, if you guys don't feel like hearing like legal stories and hearing uh, you know a lawyer talk about this stuff in a pretty friendly manner, I'd highly suggest checking out Leto's Law. On uh, YouTube, he's got a very good channel, and he covers a lot of the smaller stories. All right, those other 
10 light cruisers are commissioning. Why did you not go into port? No, the Kansas two-step was something different. The Kansas two-step was them releasing you from the traffic stop and then turning around and saying, oh, and something different. Uh, they were pulling over people with specific license plates. It had nothing to do with the Kansas two-step. It was a totally different lawsuit. Negative 88 with the British. Come on, let's go to war, damn it. We're at negative 88. Yeah, one of the things I'm worried about this summer, Josh, is there's a big neighborhood in Philadelphia that has that zombie drug in it. And I'm going to be driving the Lincoln Highway. From start to finish, I think part of the highway goes through that neighborhood of Philadelphia. So I'm a little worried about that. It's normally not something I would think, you know, growing up in New York City, it's normally not something I really care or worry about, but it looks bad in there right now. And I'm actually kind of worried about finishing up my trip at San Francisco. Uh, not anymore, Rogue, it does not. It's gone full left-wing liberal in that city. We got more of those done, so let's start building some more tor new torpedo boats. And mothball, 10 more of these. So I'm probably going to have to start scrapping these. It doesn't look like uh, Canada's buying any more of them. Though it's funny, uh, when it comes to Canada, I was playing a test campaign with the U.S. before the series that I created started. And they were allied to me and beating down the British pretty damn good. <laughs> they kept buying everything I was building and fighting the British without me having to fight them. It was pretty funny. Yeah, watch out for the poop. So, like, the, the Lincoln Highway ends at San Fran. And I hate the saves. Like, I'm doing a video vlog of the entire road trip. I'm planning on it taking me five to six days to make. Because there's nothing but side roads. There's no interstate that are part of the original Lincoln Highway. A lot of it follows the old Pony Express route, which is something I'm really looking forward to. But when it comes to San Fran or California in general, I'm planning on driving straight through and not stopping anywhere getting to the end and getting the hell back out again. Which is upsetting to me, but it's bad enough there where I just don't want to pretty much risk it because I, I do have a newer a newer truck and that, that would be a target. Brady is a Californian. She moved here in 99. She hates guns, but is a huge agricultural advocate. All right. I mean, personally, I don't, you can't hate the gun. The gun's a tool. You got to hate the user. Negative 94 at the British. Come on, a little bit more. A little bit more. It's like, I hate people that hate guns because guns are like a hammer, a screwdriver. It's a fucking tool. It's a person that wields it because a hammer and a screwdriver can kill people as easily as a gun can. Yes, we finally have a war with the British. Now we got to wait and see if they come to us. Wait another turn and see how much tonnage I need to start an invasion of Borneo.
Well, Dustin, I live in New York City, so I don't have a sidearm. Like pulling teeth to get a license here. So I own nothing but black powder weapons because you don't need a license for those. I'm pretty sure if I pulled out uh, one of my uh, matchlock pistols and pointed at whoever's trying to rob me, they'd just laugh. <laughs> what brand truck? It's a, a Ford F-250 with the driver package. Diesel engine. Get a Ram 5.7, okay, and a Tran, ooh, nice, nice, I love Trans Ams. I'm not a Ram fan, to be honest with you, but I like a Trans Am, that's a good car. And now the U.S. is declaring war on us, okay, bring it, buddy, bring it. <laughs> a German-U.S. alliance against us, okay. Oh, no, it's a British-U.S. alliance. <laughs> Not Germany. I brought up Germany because I'm still trying to go war with them so I can take back that port. And they're at negative nine, 99 with us, so they're going to war with us anyway, so we'll kick them one more time and get that war going. <laughs> I've been trying to move out of New York City for years. I was looking at homes before the pandemic in uh, Pennsylvania because that's only about an hour drive from my job. And then the pandemic hit and drove all the home prices through the fucking roof. Now the home prices are down, but the uh, the interest rate on the loans is like you're paying a loan on a two hundred thousand dollar home. So a loan for a two hundred thousand dollar home is like you're paying a loan on a five hundred thousand dollar home. It's not worth it. We'd be left when a fifty cal ball comes out and hits him in the face. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? That 93 Ford Ranger might be a complete shit box, but she still runs though, right? <laughs> I love them. Th those old Ford Rangers, those are probably one of the best trucks you could ever buy. It's great for hunting because they're so small. You can get them into the woods easily. Get them off the trails and wherever you need them to go. But uh, the regs that came out basically doing away with those things in 99 killed that truck. I hate the new Rangers. I really hate them. Also, Ricotta Law, Uncivil Law, and Good Logic are good. I've never heard of any of those three. Okay, I'll have to check them out. Buy land to build a barn dominion. I was actually, I, I got to try and keep it close to my job. I can't, I can't go too far. So I, I don't want to commute more than an hour and a half. Like my current job now, I live on Staten Island, but I work in Jersey at the port of, port of Newark in New York Harbor. And on a weekend, if I got to go to work, it takes me 20 minutes to get there. On a weekday, I'm looking at an hour plus. And we are now at war with the Germans. There we go. So we're at war with the Germans, the British, and the Americans. I don't know why the Americans jumped in because we're not in their backyard. Yes, Canada, I will keep selling you my used junk. All right, let's take a look at politics. Oh, and the British have launched a land. It's not going to be a naval invasion option. I probably don't have the tonnage. The British have launched a land invasion against Sarawak. Yeah, it's not looking good for us. They only have 62,560 forces in their army. We have 194,010. They've lost 3,800 men. We've lost 11,333 on the defensive. Hopefully we can win that through sheer numbers alone. That is not looking good. Actually, let's move our fleet. Yeah, two light cruisers. Let's move and hit that port. And see if we can't get take their supplies down. Oh, yeah, I mean, a uh, port job, and especially in New York or California, like a longshoreman is one of the best jobs you can get in this country.
Uh, actually, if I was going to do that, it would have been years ago when I was actually doing stuff like that. So when I first left the regular army, went to the National Guard, I actually did work as a bodyguard and a bouncer. And two of the guys I did work with did start their own company. Uh, so if I was going to do something like that, it would have been years ago when the owner of the company I worked for was still alive and would have signed off. In New York City, it's hard to start up a company like that unless someone who's already in it signs off on you. Though I never had any type of inclination to start anything like that. If I was going to do it, it would have been about 10, 12 years ago when he was still around to sign off on the paperwork. So I've already lost that opportunity. And the U.S. has joined the British offensive in Borneo. Really? <laughs> Rosby had to replace most electrical and the radio rusted out. I mean, what year did... You, yeah, she's a 93. I mean, it's a 93. That's over, how old is that now? It's over 20 years old. Yeah, you gotta, you basically gotta do a rebuild on her, but still cheaper than buying a new one. Uh, not much. We just went to war with basically uh, all the major powers. Uh, Britain, Germany, and America, which joined in for some reason. So the British and Americans have a joint offensive going on in Borneo against the port I took from uh, Sarawak. Hopefully we can hold them off. None of their fleets are in the area. That's the thing. I need their fleets in the area. to run. So they're on their way. No, those are just sitting there. They're not showing any movement icons. Two battleships, eight heavies. So there's five battleships... 18 heavy cruisers, 15 light cruisers, and 14 torpedo boats sitting in the South Indian Ocean, but they're not moving towards us. Oh, it's, as a college student, yeah, it's going to be a pain in the ass to pay for stuff like that. You didn't use any foul language. What the fuck, Stream? Fuck you, Streamlabs. I keep turning that stuff off. You keep turning it back on. You're really starting to piss me off. I'm sorry, Dwight. Streamlabs has not been listening to me. I keep, I've keep i turned off all the filters, but it keeps turning them back on. It pisses me off. And you didn't say anything bad in that. It deleted all your messages. What the fuck? Jeremy, your ex has found someone else to uh, harass, apparently. We're bringing in 46 million a month. I might as well build another 10 light cruisers. Why not? Yeah, it deleted everything. I'm looking at it right now. It deleted everything. I, I don't know why. And you didn't type any foul language in. And it just hit Jeremy. <laughs> oh. It's back after you, Jeremy. <laughs> uh, stream labs stream labs if you were a real person i'd strangle you <laughs> and we do have a convoy mission uh it's torpedo boat against torpedo boat we'll to resolve that and they sank the gilligan's island 
They sank my newest torpedo boat. No! I gotta rename another torpedo boat to Gilligan's Island. No! It is a Psycho X. Streamlabs. It, if it's gained sentience, it's gained idiotic sentience because he didn't type in any bad language. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't consider that to be a bad word. It sank to Gilligan's Island. I can't believe I lost to Gilligan's Island. I gotta rename another boat to Gilligan's Island now. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Gilligan's Island too. I got to put a two behind that. All right, I'm going to step away from one second here. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. God, I was only out for four hours. <laughs> well, it didn't sink. It just kind of got a hole in the side and it was sitting up on the uh, beach. Uh, it, it was kind of, it was beached on the beach. <laughs> Streamlabs is woke. It's as woke as uh, YouTube is. Oh, I'm pretty sure YouTube has flagged us all already. We don't have to worry about Streamlabs. And Germany has launched an offensive against us. We're almost 500,000 men. And they are making headway. They've only lost 10,000 men. We've lost 59,000. What the? Okay, we got to... Yep, let's move you here. Um, let's see, get the Port of Sing Tao and get rid of their supplies. Oof, that's ugly. I thought we were going to launch an invasion against Sing Tao to take it away, but they're attacking us instead, and they are beating us down. Goddamn Prussians are machines. And we have a convoy mission coming. Hopefully it's against one of theirs and not one of ours. Yeah, I know other streamers basically like have everything turned on on Streamlabs. 
because they don't want to deal with anything. Me personally, I don't care what the hell you guys say. That's another torpedo boat against a torpedo boat. All right, we did light damage to the German one. Okay. And our torpedo boat's finished building, so let's build 10 more of the new ones. And did the Canadians stop buying our old mothball ones? They did. Six. So we're just going to scrap these 10 because they're not even buying these mothballs anymore. So we're just going to get rid of these. So I'm paying upkeep on them. Not a lot, but they're not buying them either. So we'll just get rid of them. So we're not spending that money. Well, that's what makes the uh, Chinese army so good. They just throw bodies at everything and clog up the uh, defenses. Oh, 119,000 men lost to 22,000. Oh. You guys are on sea control, right? Yeah. Let's put you on invade. Yeah, let's put you on invade, see if we can't get a lot rid of their merchant ships. We got two offensives going over here now. But they're not making any headway. That's good. Our losses are greater. But they're not making any headway, so I think this blockade is working. Germany's using the cloud weapon. Or the feature meant Taco Bell. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm actually starting to like Taco Bell recently, considering they're not as expensive as everybody else. You can still go into Taco Bell and get a $5 Crave box. That same amount of food would cost you like $30 at McDonald's. As much as I don't like fast food, but being a port worker, sometimes I have no choice. <laughs> it's the cheapest thing you can get right now. British Empire is accusing our country of war crimes. Yep. Yeah. Victims among citizens will happen. Another convoy mission here. Another torpedo boat against... It's the Marianne now. Let's see if she wins. And she won. Only light damage against that torpedo boat, but she did win. Good job, Marianne. Going to go get beer, got everyone drunk, forgot to defend themselves. <laughs> well, so my fleets are sitting off their ports and they're set to invade. So unless there's ships in there, they're not going to uh, run in for an attack, honestly. So. Supposed to be ready to even be here on the border mission, but you haven't heard anything. Yeah. I I I don't think the uh, governor of Texas gives a crap at this point. Another torpedo boat mission. The movie star took light damage and and they took medium. Okay. First man holds rifle, second has ammunition, third has the training to aim, reload, and shoot. Fourth can actually shoot accurately. <laughs> yeah, we're losing to the Germans bad over here in northern China. That is not good. They're on invade. I got them at their port. And they're not doing anything to them. That's got me. That's got me very, very, very worried. 
And these British fleets aren't moving towards us. Still not getting a naval invasion option. I just don't think I have the tonnage available. So we're up to 30 light cruisers, which doesn't give us the tonnage. We're going to be doing heavy cruisers in 1900. But I still don't think we'll have the tonnage at that point. So that Rammstein got the Chinese scared. <laughs> do. Do us. Do us, mage. <laughs> Remember when that song came out, it was everybody was playing that damn thing. Yeah, what is that song? 20 years old now? If not old, no, that song's older. I think it came out when I was in high school. Is that song's what 30 years old, but damn near? <laughs> well, according to uh Border Patrol Union, they, you guys really didn't kick them out. They just like, yeah, you're doing our job for us, we don't care. <laughs> I love the Border Patrol Union. You're like, yeah, fuck the admin. Fifth knows to seek cover. Sixth knows a chain link fence is not cover. <laughs> You know what? The French don't like us either. Should I drag them in? Fuck it. Why not? Let's go. World War against China. Bring it. <laughs> but nobody's bringing their fleets. I got to look at the politics tab and see what everybody's fleets look like. Yeah, I was reading about it earlier today. Was it earlier today or yesterday? I think it was earlier today. No, it was yesterday I was at work. I saw the news feed pop up and Border Patrol Union was like, yeah, fuck it. We love this. That's one less. Eagle Pass is one less thing we got to worry about. Negative seven with the French. Good. Let's keep taking a bite of that croissant and bring them into the war. The torpedo. Marianne again. Light damage versus medium damage, okay. I, I like. I'm not gonna fight a single torpedo boat against a single torpedo boat fight. That's just boring. Yeah, it's French Indochina. They hold everything. Oh, British launched a major offensive into southern China. Okay, we're doing better in southern China. They've lost 31,000 to our 38,000. And they're only bringing 33,000 from the Brits, 7,000 from the Americans. So we'll win that one handily. How are we looking over here? All right, we're winning this defense. It's We're losing against the Germans. And that's a problem. Because this is where a lot of, this is over, this is worth over a billion dollars to us. That's an issue. I can't launch any naval invasions, and I'm not at war with the French yet, though we will be pretty soon. No, no, I'm not trying to split it between them. I'm trying to enforce the Chinese version of the Monroe Doctrine right now is what I'm trying to do. Get the fuck out of my backyard. Though it's working against the British and Americans. It's not working against the Germans. I think I got to start making nice with the Germans. And I can't improve relations with them. Ugh. All right. Let's go kick the French again. 
But none of their fleets are here. That's what I'm surprised about. The Brits have got a lot in the... Oh, there we go. This strike group is coming towards us. Four battleships, seven heavies, nine lights, and 13. These two are continuing to sit off of uh, southern India, but this strike group is coming our way. Seventh is an officer, eighth is a drunk officer, ninth is an adequate officer, tenth is a commissar with an itchy trigger finger. <laughs> Bring that British fleet. I want to put it to the bottom. Like I said earlier, with uh, tomorrow's uh, mainstream episode releasing, because I am actually going to do uh, Saturday episodes again with the uh, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. If you don't like the British, tomorrow's a good episode to watch. Or uh, this morning in a few hours. <laughs> And now we are at war with the Italians. We are at war with everybody. <laughs> Chinese Empire pushes back the British Empire's offenses in Sarawak. British Army losses 36,475. We lost 66,600, but we got bodies to throw. Fuck it. We got so many, we got so many Chinese bodies to throw at them. We don't use ammunition. We use clown cannons and launch our soldiers at their lines. So I got this offensive going, which we're about to win. We're losing this one too. It's just the Germans that are winning theirs right now. They're at 56%. This port should be blockaded. Let's try this again. The port should be blockaded, and let's move the Port Arthur fleet there also. Where's that British fleet? Not trap. Okay, so they got a lot of older ships. They're not moving very far. And they came from Scapa Flow. These guys have got like no fuel left. Spring offensive, Dustin. Spring offensive. It's coming up. Right next episode or two. Uh, only my light cruisers have the ability to mine right now. And we can't mine enemy ports, sadly. We can mine defensively. We cannot mine offensively. Wait, did I say offensively twice? We can mine defensively. We can't mine offensively. And there we are at war with the French now. <laughs> bring it, everybody. Fucking bring it. Let's take a look at politics. Yeah, we're at war with everybody except for uh, the USSR, Japan, and Spain. And Japan might be joining in pretty soon. They're at negative 93 with us. <laughs> oh, and Canada is no longer an ally. That's why they're not buying our stuff anymore. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're at negative 93 with Japan. Fuck them. Let's go kick them in the nuts, too. Fuck it. Bring it. Bring it. <laughs> this is probably going to be a very short-lived campaign. <laughs> and now the Austro-Hungarians are threatening us. Yeah, fuck them. And we are at war with the Austro-Hungarian Empire. <laughs> we just need the Japanese to get in here now. It's us against the world. <laughs> and the French have launched an invasion of southern China. Oh, this might be the shortest campaign I've ever had in this game. 
<laughs> Even though I've only been playing it two weeks. <laughs> All we need, once the Japanese are involved, it is full send. Actually, it'll be full send once we get the Russians and the Spanish. But right now, we got <laughs> five, six major powers. Japanese are about to join in. Then we got to piss off the Spanish and the Russians. <laughs> God. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Reminds me of <laughs> my torp runs. Yeah. My politics are the same as my torp runs. Get in. Blast them, get out. And we are now at war with Japan. <laughs> oh, good God. Convoy mission here. What do we got? One of our torpedo boats against one of theirs. Okay. So to resolve that. And they sank us. Okay. We lost that one. All right. Of that and I think we actually need to build 10 more yeah so the other 10 finished buildings so we got to build 10 more of these as replacements and scrap 10 of these older ones Then, okay, the 11 like the 10 light cruisers we were building are now commissioning, so let's build another 10 of those. Probably not gonna be able to afford to keep them, but we'll build them anyway. Now it cost me uh, eight and a half mil a pop. There's that British fleet. Who do I have nearby? Who's in Kowloon? One light cruiser. Jim Cow. Yeah, we'll move the Chinkow task force at them. Nope, they got one that's and one's commissioning. Does anybody have two in there? Gong. Yeah, there we go. And they're commissioning also. Come on, give me something that's not commissioning. There we go. Four light cruisers, the millionaire and his wife, and a bunch of other torpedo boats. Let's go. Go get that fleet. There goes Southern China, but I start to learn to speak French. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, that's not. Yep, nope. Jeremy's got it right. This is the Whiskey Rebellion. It's not the Boxer Rebellion. Though we're not uh, rebelling over taxes. 7% advance. How's this advance looking up here? Oh, God. We're about to lose Northern China. We're, we're at 756,000 losses. today. Why is this port not blockaded? I got three light cruisers and 23 torpedo boats there. These guys should have no supplies. They've only got one torpedo boat there. How the fuck are they? How are they not blockaded? They should have no supplies. That, I mean, that's complete bullshit. These guys should not have the supplies nor the manpower to launch this fight. They they, they got nothing protecting this port. They're not in the war yet, Josh. We are working on it. Though I, I, I think we have enough as it is, though. Because the Russians actually like us. They're plus 80. It would take me fucking years to get them into this war. Spanish only like us by five, so uh, yeah, let's go piss them off and see if we can't drag them in too. Yeah, we're fleet off the coast. I'm trying to get one of my fleets to intercept them. Here's the Japanese fleet, though. It looks like they're leaving the area. Oh, thank you for the subscription, Peter. 
Got to name a ship the kitchen sink. When I get to building a battleship, I might name one the kitchen sink. That's actually a good idea. That's pretty good. Throw every gun I can on the thing and call it the kitchen sink. <laughs> Damn, cigarette went out when I was talking. Oh, meeting engagement. There we go. Where's Admiral Grumpa's twin brother, General Grumpa, who could save the ground war? Yeah, right? <laughs> there we go. Look at this. Four battleships. Seven heavies. Nine light cruisers and a number of torpedo boats going against four of our light cruisers and a number of our torpedo boats. Name a ship Streamlabs and she will sink a sh her ship, including your own. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to do that right after this fight. I'm going to name one of my torpedo boats Streamlabs. This one might actually take a minute to load in because there's a lot of ships in this fight. It might be a little sluggish on the screen, I'll be honest. There's going to be a lot of rounds flying. I'd like to actually say I'm worried about this fight, but I don't think so, because those battleships did not have a lot of tonnage. My light cruisers are half the tonnage of those battleships. We don't need fair winds and following seas. We need high winds and rum. Four light cruisers and 21 torpedo boats against four battleships, seven heavy cruisers, nine light cruisers, and 13 torpedo boats. Oh, I've won battles with less. Let's go. <laughs> Why are you not in line with everybody else? Get in line with the other four. Got screen, screen. Yep, okay, that's fine. Now let's drop you guys down. Yeah. Slow. Stand by. Stand by. I'm going to be relying very heavily on my torpedo boats for this action. This is not the best weapon. Oh, that's... Pretty nice looking. Look at that color. Hold on. Look at that color. That is beautiful, honestly. Oh, that's a nice screenshot right there. Oh, I like that. That is some nice color right there. I'm going to put that image up in the description afterwards. So if anybody wants to uh, download this picture, I'm going to post that up. Yeah, that's nice looking. First battle for my light cruisers. Let's see how this goes. We just got to find the other fleet first. Yep, 
You love the Moxie, but I have a feeling my fleet's kind of newer than theirs is. But we haven't found them yet. Oh, we're down to X5, so we're closing. We started pretty far apart. Uh... Doesn't tell me what time it is, but it looks like sunrise. Or it could be a sunset. Maybe a sun Yeah, maybe a sunset. Oh, shit! Hard starboard. Oh, we hit somebody hard over there. Alright. That's either a battleship or a heavy cruiser. Uh, green. Our crews are green. I don't have a lot of money in crew training. Okay, I think we just spotted two of the four battleships. We already sank somebody. I think... <laughs> Makes you miss the salty sea spray and breaking waves on the bow. <laughs> I had everything running at X10. It made me jump. Holy crap. <laughs> um, there's a torpedo boat right there. Where's my scouting screen? Alright, let's take you guys on a full sail. I'm going to start moving against that battleship. And it's rough waves, so we can't even go flank speed. It'll be a minute before they get into the action. I gotta keep this down to play. There's too many ships. Oh, and there's one over here, too. Holy crap. But these guys, they should all be on low fuel. That one is... Because they came from Scapa Flow. It didn't stop at any port, so they got, like, no fuel in these ships. starboard more. That's a heavy cruiser. That's going to be an issue. Where's my torpedo boats? Come this way. He actually just took a hit, so she's no longer lead ship. Engine down, and we don't have auxiliaries. But we just, we're on top of each other. We're more on top of each other than we should be. My torps now have a 1.2 kilometer range. You know, we're not going for that heavy. Where the hell is that BB? Where'd she go? We're going straight into the middle of them. Fuck it. Low fuel means slower targets, which are easier to hit. That is exactly right. Battleship Prince of Wales. That one we're still identifying. Wait, did she just catch a flash fire? I lost sight of her. Shit. This is bad weather. Someone else just sank. I think there's a lot of friendly fire going on right now. Crap, we're getting a little close to that heavy. Right full. She has no torps, though. That's good. Please, we can torp her. She can't torp us. And we just lost rudder control. Fuck. Shit. I'm about to lose a sway, huh? There is a battleship. Let's go in there, boys. Yeah, we just lost a sway, huh?
This is a meeting engagement in the purest sense of the word. We just found each other in the goddamn fog. Holy crap. Oh, did you just launch? God damn it. Alright. Turn yours off. Turn yours off, Y5. Let's break you off and get you out. Who the hell did she just launch at? Where are your torpedoes going? All right, they're flying at the Prince of Rails. Oh, uh, Prince of Wales. Okay, that's fine. And one of them hit. Good. Take a look at my CL battle line. Zungal's taking a hit. This heavy's doing some damage. This is an ugly fight. Let's finish off the Prince of Wales if we can. Torps away, but she's already turning. That's not good. Detach you 132 and get you the hell out of here. 115. One might strike. That one's a complete miss. It might hit somebody back here in the smoke screen, though. Prince of Wales is slowly sinking. One more torpid should finish. There we go. That should finish her off. 132. Oh, crap. Oh, they already launched. Shit. I don't know who you launched at. Get out of there. My cruisers, where are you? Still turning on the Hawk. Put your torpedoes at aggressive. Put a torpedo into that bitch, damn it. Alright, next line of torpedo boats. Let's go. Ooh, battleship renowned. We gotta take her down. Full speed. Alright, torp away at the Hawk. I don't want to lose another one of my brand new light cruisers to these bad boys. Let's go. Nice. Beautiful hit. Five degree left rudder. Let's start circling around the outside. Light cruiser Furious is going down. And one of my lights just took the torpedo hit. That's not good. It looks like we can get on here, get on the renown without them firing at us. That'd be beautiful. They have a history lesson. Napoleon's invasion fleet bound for Egypt barely snuck part of the British Navy off the coast of Italy. Have, yep. Uh, torpedo boats can't pop smoke. The lights can, but it also interferes with my own aiming, and I want to take down this heavy. There it goes. It is going down. So I'm going to keep them at 5 degrees port rudder. Oh, all of my lights have taken massive hits. Except for the Yulin. She's taking on water, but not as bad as the Aksu and the Zingzao. There goes the Hawk. Beautiful. Target the Renown. 
I don't know if you're torps for right now. We want to be broadside of this bitch. Alright, we're full broadside. Give me an aggressive launch. Launch, damn it. Good job. Oh, you're way, way far away from the other ship. Wow, okay. So the other uh, torpedo boat in this flight's nowhere near the fight. Boom! Two hits, 4,300 damage, two engines down, taken on water. Beautiful. And you're not heading towards the... Why are you separate from... You should be in the same battle line as that one. Here we go. Let's go finish off the Renown, please. My cruisers. Why are you no longer five degree? No, you were five degree four, brother. Oh. Newland's no longer a lead ship. Oh, we are getting hammered. There's the Black Prince. These green crews are an issue. That's my new battle line. I mean, this fight's chaotic, but you gotta fucking love it. <laughs> this is awesome. Well, she's turning away from us. Let's get on her starboard side if we can. Oh, she's going down. She's down to 6% float. How far away is the Anson? Let's start moving her away. There goes a Renown, down to the bottom, where she belongs. Oh, we got the Implacable. Ah, oh, shit, who do I go after? Nah, Anson will be an easier target. I can bring another flight in on the uh, Implacable. Wait, who'd you just fire at? Shit, okay, that's fine. 78, let's break you off. Retreat. 201, where are you? And you're about to launch against her. Oh, you already launched. Okay, retreat. Shit. Next two. Let's go. Nice hit on the patrol. I'm down to two CLs. I lost two. You got a torpedo out on the Black Prince. Nice hit. Flooding at the bow. Beautiful. The Suiha is sunk, and the Zhang Zhao is sunk. Put you up to flank speed. Move against the Anson. There goes the patrol. I didn't want to fire at her, but we sank her, so I will take it. I think this might be a good picture right there. Hold on. I hit pause. Why is everything still moving? I want to 
get her between the masts if I can. Ah, too much smoke in the way. Take a look at that. Uh, we don't have a good view of her. Ah! Alright. The Immortal Light. That's a weird name. Not as chaotic as it was. I actually think we've taken down a good chunk of their ships already. <laughs> Things are not as chaotic as they were. Let's go back after the Anson. Actually, uh, I, they do have the single reload available. But while they're in the center of the fleet and they're retreating and they reload, they will fire whatever ship they're passing by. So I don't bother to bring them back in on another run. Because I know they're going to fire at whoever that's available for them to fire at. It's a cheesy tactic, but it works. And Y111 is going down. All right. So, while, while I got them in the center of the fleet and they're retreating, and they reload while they're in the middle of that retreat, they will just fire off in any direction. It works out. The Immortalite is Scottish from the Clan McLeod. <laughs> there can be only one. I'm Duncan McLeod of the Clan McLeod. For those torpedo boats close in. We still got the five degree left. Mortalite's gotten away with no damage. Actually, do you have torps? No, you're reloading. Do I have any torpedo boats nearby? Who's this? Y126. Where the hell is your lead ship? Alright, 126. Let's break you off. From whichever group you're part of. And bring you in. We need you to take the head off this immortal. It's only slightly immortal. It's going to be slightly immortal once the 126 gets done with her, unless she, uh... Unless she's had some issues and fires some blanks off. <laughs> Turn off the torps. And I got a torpedo run going on to one of the battleships. I'm paying attention to this heavy cruiser, but she's doing a lot of damage. I got to take her down. And we're starting to nail her. Look at that. Hold on. Look at that. <laughs> Mother was obsessed with Christopher Lambert when I was a teenager. Yeah. So was my mom. 
She thought he was hot as hell. We don't have to put torps into her, but might as well. Fuck it. Add insult to injury. <laughs> Alright, let's start hitting you that way. Where am I? Where, I, I, where the hell did the British fleet go? I think we took them down. <laughs> Alright, where's my other torpedo boat run? Not the Y-26. Where's my other battle? Uh, okay, they might have gone down. So I wasn't paying attention. Who is near the battleship? You are, okay. <laughs> I think we just ripped apart the British fleet. I only see the two battleships and a light cruiser left. Yeah, my mom thought Kevin Sorbo was hot also. And I'll admit, if you actually look at those old videos, like, you... you I can honestly say, I could, I could be jealous of how he looked back then. I've never looked like that in my life. No matter how much working out I did. <laughs> I don't think... She didn't like his personality. She liked the way he looked, though. What I have a feeling taking down the Anson and the Implacable is going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, she also liked, uh, Ke what the hell was it? Kevin Sorbo's sidekick, the blonde guy. She liked him too, but that's only because she liked blondes. I just never liked them having the uh, Sean Connery play the Spaniard because he didn't even try putting on a Spanish accent at all. It just sounded Scottish. I don't even think he tried with the accent. The old yeah, but what what was the actor's name? Grumpy, you want to know where the British fleet is? They are checking in my locker. Signed, Davy Jones. <laughs> Let's turn your torps off. See if we can't get broadside on the ants in here. Alright, there's two CLs that we've lost sight of. It's this heavy fog. We can't really see their fleet. You know what? We're broadside of the Aurora. One of our engines is down. Let's try and get a launch on her. Much as I want the Anton, I think we need to clear the Aurora out. Yeah, I think it was Michael Hurst. I think you're right. Have a good night, Dustin. I'm actually going to end the stream right after this battle, so... Because it's after 2 a.m. <laughs> oh, launch on the implacable, please. We're close enough. We can get a launch on the implacable. British fleet heard it as a T-shipment at the bottom of the sea. 
Uh, I think you're gonna like the name of, uh... Yeah, the next video pops in like four hours. So, uh, I'll tell you guys the name. It's called the New York City Tea Party. So, there's a big clue as to what happens in that video. <laughs> Alright, where are my light cruisers? We haven't paid attention to them in a minute. Oh, shit, we're firing in every direction. We're in the middle of their fleet. That's not good. Oh, shit. <laughs> but I got five... I got five inches on every side. Holy crap. This battle is just all... Oh, and there goes the implacable. Nice. Why can't you go full speed? Because the Y116, let's break her off. Let's get you out. Millionaire and his wife is in the battle. Let's launch against this light cruiser. I'll take that. You should have a triple torpedo launcher, yep. just launched, so let's begin retreating you. Let's see where those torps go. Oh, looks like we got a good run coming. Please don't be firing blanks. Cossack just went down. Abukir just went down. Don't be a blank. Don't be a blank. You know she loves long, hard objects. Oh, come on. Amelia and his wife and fire and blanks. Come on. You already fired your... Yeah, I thought I hit retreat on you. TB conflict going down. My queen, the fleet's in the Pacific. Have we heard from them? Not since they arrived. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have enough grog for the British sailors, so they're mute. Oh shit, we're down to one light cruiser. Holy fuck. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, crap. Battleship's on top of uh, my last light cruiser. <laughs> Shit. I stopped paying attention to my light cruisers. The Anson's coming in for a ram. On the stern. I guess the Brits love that rear end action going. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I guess we lost all of our light cruisers in this fight. <laughs> Axo, I'm just going to give you retreat orders. I want to retain at least one of my light cruisers from this fight. Alright, can we launch against the Pioneer, please? <laughs> All my streams are quite cheeky, Jeremy. You should know that by now. Oh, crap. We don't have any torps in this uh, torpedo boat. What about the 87? 87's got torps. All right, let's detach you. 128, you got no torps left, so let's get you out. 
So the 128's actually fired her torps and then reloaded and fired again. So she survived that long. This has been one confusing mess of a fight. <laughs> and you gotta love it. Uh, yeah, I don't have any left. Uh, she's going down. Yeah, Axu's gone. Yulin's sunk. Yeah, I've lost all my light cruisers. Alright, we're not going to retreat the Y87 because she has a chance to reload and stay in this fight, so we'll take that. Got a good torp flying in at the Pioneer, possibly two. Don't be blanks. Not, oh, almost 7,000 points of damage on that hit. Same location, taking another, oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Pioneer. Oh, look at that color. That is beautiful looking, holy crap. guys up the flank and get you into the fight. I can't even see the rest of their ships anymore. Who are you firing at? There's somebody there. <laughs> There's somebody there. We're gonna... I think we lost the Anson. I don't think we're going to find that battleship again because it is just too foggy out here. Everything's all over the place at this point. Holy crap. But whoever we're firing at right over here should be another light cruiser with the smoke. Let's see if we can't get her. What a goddamn fight. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, it's, it's the Anson. We gotta get her. We gotta get her. Turn off your torps. Do not fire at that light. We're going for the Anson. Anson only. Why are you turning? God damn it, launch, launch, he was in range, launch. Who's in charge now, 83? What rudder? Bring back to starboard a little bit. 84 launched, okay. Oh, you, guys, you have no fucking ammo? Shit. All right, 84. Let's get you out. Boom! Ho! Oh. Anson is going down. Where'd that light cruiser go? She's right here. We can't even see her. There she is. The Aurora. We may have lost all four light cruisers, but I think... Oh, and there's two light cruisers left. The Durban and the Aurora. I think we can only get the Aurora at this point, so we're going to go for her. Did I lose my steering? Why are you not turning? And there's still a heavy cruiser out there too. Would you? Oh, you just wasted your torps on a fucking torpedo boat. God damn it.
Oh, she's sinking. Nice. All right. Let's get a shot on the Blenheim. There's another heavy cruiser out there, too. Sparty. Warps away. Start retreating. This fight's over. We're just trying to get what it, what we can in. But you got two torps heading for her. Don't be blanks. Ah! The Y-14 was shooting blanks. Is everybody on retreat? Still got battle line. Yeah, let's just put you on retreat. You're too far away. Yeah, you're too far away. Let's put you on retreat. Let's beat this along. No matter what. Holy crap. What a fucking fight. That was fun. That was fun. <laughs> So we lost all four of our light cruisers. Oh, Millionaire's Wife went down? Oh, I gotta rename another one. Okay, one, two, four, five, six, seven, nine. So we lost all four of our light cruisers and nine torpedo boats. But we took down four of their battleships, four of their heavy cruisers, eight of their light cruisers. And 12 of their 13 torpedo boats. Damn. <laughs> Holy crap. What a fucking fight. We lost 13 ships to their 28. We gained 55,064 victory points to 11,677. I mean, I lost all four of those light cruisers, but this was goddamn worth it. Holy shit. That was a lot of fun. Uh, divorce play everything down the middle. Honestly, it's a torpedo, but it probably did get split down the middle. <laughs> no, no peace. You're losing all your offensives and we're sinking your fleets. Holy crap. Oof. All right, I got to build four new light cruisers now. <laughs> Eleven months until they're in action, and I forget how many torpedo boats we lost. So I'll wait until the numbers even out before I count those. But I think we're going to end this episode here. It's going on two thirty in the morning. Holy shit! <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. I had a lot of fun in that last fight. That was just all over the goddamn place. Holy crap! <laughs> Ugh. Like I said, I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'm going to be uh, ending the stream here. It's going on 2.30 in the morning. I think it's about time I showed up at the local bar and see if uh, any low-hanging fruit left for me to grab up. Yeah, but I still have to uh, rest up and uh, get ready for tomorrow night's stream also. Plus, I still want to go hit the bar for the last hour and a half. It's open. <laughs> This was fun. So, I mean, Friday night stream is not something I normally do, but uh, if I got the time, so I'll probably do this again next Friday, along with the uh, Saturday Grand Tactician stream. So if I do have the time, I'll do this again next Friday, because this was a lot of fun. I want to keep this campaign going. <laughs> 
So, well, once again, no more closing statements. If you're new, if you're a return view, if you're not yet subscribed, please think about hitting that subscribe button. If you do, remember that bell icon so the next video comes out. And no matter say if you like a brigade, in this case, if you want a ship named after you, please let me know in the comments below. If you are a channel member, you can have your own class of ship named after you. That's right, Grim Wolf. I'm saving a class of ship for you. So, because you're my first channel subscriber, you're going to get a battleship class named after you. So, don't worry. Yours is coming. So, I will see you all tomorrow night, whoever decides to join for Grand Tactician. I'll see you all tomorrow night at about 5 p.m., I do believe. Have a good one.